Hello, hello. We are back at it again with some Persona 3 Reload. Happy Sunday. We're so back. <laughs> Anyways. So this whole time, huh? There's a Persona user in the class next door. Dude, we've been missing out. What if she's cute? Hmm. Hmm. Exams suck, don't they? You have to study so much and your score gets posted. If you do bad, everyone laughs at you. Now we were cracked. We did so good. We were top 10. Take a look around real quick. I heard Sonata Senpai's been released from the hospital. I wonder how he oh Maybe he was faking it? He was just doing it for attention? Nah, it couldn't be. He's already surrounded by girls all the time. Hmm. He's already too popular. Oh. That's right, we planted tomatoes last stream. Congrats on surviving. Now we have time to do whatever we want to do. Are you heading out soon? I was thinking about what to do since there's no practice today. I don't think our bond will grow any stronger. But what if we did? Because, like, we need to anyways, right? Like, it's always going to be like, oops. So they aired the athlete's training regimen and... I can feel my bond with Yukogo uh, grow stronger as we spend time together. I feel like our relationship will grow stronger soon. It's getting dark. I decided to go back to the dorm. What was the last big thing? What's up, dude? Was it just exams? Do you have some time? I'm a little disappointed about Yagimishikun as well. It's quite difficult to find someone who has the potential. Wouldn't you feel more confident in your abilities with more team members? Hmm. That's true. That'd be correct. Thankfully, Sonata Kun's uh, rejoined the team. Oh, you know, um, I think my like ping bot is a little off. <gasps> oh, wild. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. Weird, I've never had this happen before. It's like, uh, locking my cursor in the center of the screen. Do I have to, like, pause first? Oh, I guess I do. Wild. Anyways. Oh wait. Um uh, it's a live chat. There we go. Oh, so much trails I tried to run with the uh, RB button. Arcade worked. Wild duck. As the thumbnail suggests, let's go eat let's go eat some burgers. Again. AGAIN! This is a ridiculous amount of burgers. I wonder if we'll be able to finish everything. 
No matter how much I eat, the amount of burgers doesn't seem to decrease. So we did the first one and we did the third one. What if we do the second one, you know? Eating while staring off into the distance made me feel a little better. Oh. Oh. I feel like I'm making progress, but I shouldn't get ahead of myself. You gotta keep scarfing it down. Eat without stopping. Working through the pain, I managed to maintain my pace without stopping. <gasps> There's only a few more burgers. It's the final stretch. How can I keep this up and complete the challenge? One and three are bad, but I've never heard of two. Imagining eating something sour instead help me maintain my pace. Hmm. I wonder if that's real. Let's go! I managed to eat the mountain of burgers. <laughs> Pacing technique and mental fortitude were all required. I feel like I've grown. Heart attack incoming. Wait, that was just like good for... That was good for a lot of us. A lot of stats there. You telling me I just gotta eat like 10 burgers and I'll get stronger? Thanks to completing the big eater challenge. I can now order the limited weekend wild duck set when it's available. First I should report back to Elizabeth. What's up, dude? So what'd you think? Of what? Yeah. About the girl, Fuki Amigishi. I haven't lost hope that she'll join our team. Dude, I've actually seen her around. And yeah, she does kind of look frail, but that just kind of, uh, that makes me want to be strong enough for the two of us. Okay. I mean, like, not bad for self-improvement, I guess. Our next topic. Let's see. Today I'll be covering the Kofun period in our history. I don't know though. Do any of you think this stuff is relevant? I mean, I could slap together some clay statues that look a lot better than theirs did. I can't wait until we get to the Sengoku era. It's so much more exciting. Speaking of the Sengoku era, there was one general they called the Warhawk of the battlefield. Hmm. We are feeling EP. We will stay awake. I'm so and that's how this period uh, came to be known as the Sengoku era. You want to hear more about the Kofun period? If you insist, uh, go look up the Katora tomb in Nara. It's really famous. I forced myself to stay awake. Oh, I forgot I was keeping track. Eh, it's okay. You're free, right, Latina? I'm sorry, man. It's practice day. Yo. How you doing? I'm gonna get a ton of laps in today. I feel as if I can go closer. I might grow closer to Miyamoto soon, too. Let's do it! All right. Hold up, I forgot to swap out the cleats on my shoes. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hello? How you doing, brother? Hey, I just got a text from Kaz. It's for you, but he wanted you to know ASAP, so he texted me too. Hmm. It's the group chat. Come to Iwatodai Station. What is that guy thinking? He's get practice today too. After practice, I made my way to Iwatodai Station. Wait, after practice though? Oh, we made him wait then, huh? Fire. Yuko was pissed, wasn't she? I've missed a lot of practice lately. 
I should have told you last time, but um, my x-ray results, the muscles and tendons around my knee are inflamed. The doctor said if I keep pushing it that I won't be able to walk anymore. Man! It's just like Uma Musume. He said I strained it too hard during practice. It's so freaking stupid. I want to win, so I have to practice. Hmm. I mean, like... There are ways to go about this, right? Like... Show some guts? Yeah! You're right! Every minute, every second counts. I can't waste any more time. I promised I'd win at next year's meet and become the number one athlete in Japan. We're going to make this guy never walk again. He's going to become the number one horse girl in Japan. Mm. You promised? Yeah. I made a promise. My nephew got into an accident, and his legs got messed up. And now, he can't walk. But if he goes through rehab, he might be able to recover. He says the rehab hurts too much, though, so he doesn't want to do it. He's only five, you know? There's still so much he hasn't done yet. So I made a deal with my nephew. Just, uh, don't laugh, okay? If I become number one in Japan, he'll agree to go through rehab. Man. That's a... That's a rough one when you got a fucked up leg, though. That's why I have to win this meet, so I can make it to nationals. I mean, may I mean maybe you could go to rehab, too. And then, like... You can be rehab buddies. Do you think you can win? What if he just pulls like a Tokai Teo, you know? To tell you the truth, I don't think I can do it. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused, and for all the depressing conversations. It's really tough keeping it all bottled up. You were the only one I could talk to. Miyamoto opened up to me about his troubles. I feel like we're becoming closer. I wonder if I picked the right options there. Yuko has good instincts when it comes to this stuff, so she might say something to you. It might be a good idea for him to bring up a guide just to like check, huh? Miyamoto. Persona 3. Uh No, I picked the wrong ones. <laughs> I parted ways with Miyamoto and headed back to the dorm. Hold up, we're running it back. Oh, it's you. Huh? No. I will read this when we when we do it right. Yeah. We love a save scum. By the way, Will. Hello, hello. How you doing, brother? Yo. Hope you're having a good Sunday. All right. Man, Sunday already, huh? Crazy. So the one was, why go so far? Well, 
Because it's not just about me. My nephew got into an accident. But if he goes to... He's, he's only... F That's why... What about your knee, brother? Thanks for caring, man. But I can't worry about that now. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused. And for all the depressing conversations. Uh, I already went back. <clears throat> Yuko has good instincts when tell her to... Nice. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. It's strange. The number of apathy, uh, apathy syndrome victims seems to be on the rise again. Evidently, the prior decline was only temporary. Huh? If that's the case, then what's the point of fighting? No. If we do nothing, then everyone will eventually join the Lost. Our efforts have prevented the crisis from escalating to that point. Yeah. I guess you're right. I'd hate to see what the city would be like if we couldn't stop, uh, we couldn't use our personas. I was sneezing earlier and my nose hasn't really cleared. Something more okay. Maybe. A little bit. Also, my phone's at 4%. I should plug it in. Hold on. Where is my charging cable? more victims there'd be if we wouldn't uh if we couldn't fight shadows is pretty depressing i'm glad you moved here man coon it's a lot less overwhelming with you here there's no telling when this all end but together i know we can do it eventually that's right gang gang akihiko hmm. our efforts probably won't be appreciated by the people in town but if we don't fight then the city will uh, eventually be overrun with the lost that's why we need to enjoy the peace and quiet whenever we find it. That's the result of our hard work. Oh, right. Make sure you don't forget that. By the way, we're saving the city, right, Sonata son? Yeah. Well, yeah. Why well, state the obvious? Hmm. Well, because it doesn't really feel like it. It'd be nice if we could get some kind of thank you. From the ladies, at least. Hmm. Anyone want to hang out at like 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. I mean, like 8 p.m. Oh wait, we're Thursday. I feel like our intelligence is pretty good. Maybe we do Hakikuri? Wait. Spent time? Did I see that right? Spent time with Mutatsu? Hmm. Oh, I guess there is something in Polonia. Oh, it's because I haven't talked to Elizabeth yet. Marvelous. I can see that you're living quite a fulfilling life, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Sure am. How may I assist you? Here are my requests. Wonderful. It seems you completed a request, yep. Yeah. I see that you took on the burger establishment's uh, eating challenge. I wasn't aware that completing it would grant you access to an off-menu combo. Marvelous. What a truly generous service. Though it's only made me yearn even more for uh, to challenge it myself one day. 
Please take this as your reward. Have an Oberon with the skill Mazio in your possession and report to Elizabeth. Very well. Do we have an Oberon? Can we make an Oberon? Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. It's an emperor, right? Now then, let's it is a special persona you- What kind of persona? Do please choose the person. Well then, shall we take a look? Hmm. Please take a look. How do we get an emperor? your eye this persona yes so you'll be summoning this one very well it's yours are you in what kind of persona do you desire we do not know I don't think there's a time limit to that, so it'll happen when it happens. Looks like I don't have to win in line of play. Is High School of Youth better than the ramen? We literally just come to the fucking arcade to play a dating sim. <gasps> Let's go! We're confident! Wait, does that mean we can get the special meal at uh, Hagakure now? No, I, I keep thinking of Hagakure. Um, Wakatsu Kitchen. Have you heard? I heard from a younger guy in my club yesterday that the second years is getting uh a second year is getting bullied. Huh? That's crazy. Which second year? Um, I don't know. All I heard is that it's pretty serious. I thought our school was peaceful, but. I guess stuff like that still happens here. Seems like someone in the same grade as me is getting bullied. The first bell has rung. All right, all right. Quiet down, class. It's time to begin today's lecture. Proger, uh, Proger Dio, Adu, Lucem, Sidrem. I'm changing today's lecture to another integrated learning one since Mr. Okoda left early today. He claimed he wasn't feeling well. Looked fine enough to me, though. Quick word of caution. Make sure you know what you eat before you take a bite. I covered the basics of learning magic last time, so today I'll go a bit deeper into meditation. First, let's review the ways that magicians meditate. To heighten the creative impulse, the source of all your magical power, observe a real-world object carefully, then recreate it in your mind, down to the last tiny detail. That's the Western standard for meditation, but I'd like to talk about the Eastern style as well. Meditation was originally refined in the East, and modern magicians adapted Eastern meditation for their own original style. You'll find the right posture, take a deep breath in and out, and calm your mind. That's the basic practice of the Eastern style. Doesn't take much to practice meditation either. All you need is some free time and a relatively calm environment. Doesn't take long, but you should give yourself at least 15 minutes for a proper session. Now for the specifics. First, your posture. Just take a position that you find comfortable. Sitting cross-legged is good enough for most, but you can try the full lotus position, too. It's sometimes called, uh, Kikufuza. Uh, you can even meditate while sitting in a chair. Any position works as long as it's comfortable. Once your breathing's relaxed, close your eyes. Uh, 
Uh, relax, close or cover, close or cover your eyes, and let the rest of your body relax too. Now that you've prepped, man, I can't read. Now that you've prepared yourself physically, you'll focus next on your mind and soul. Imagine a symbol, some simple image, perhaps a large tree or the moon. God, this guy is yapping. <laughs> it could even be the god of your own faith if you like. However, don't force yourself to actually fully empty your mind. It's actually a common misconception. Most people aren't even capable of it, but succeeding is especially dangerous. You run the risk of losing all control of yourself. Should I close my eyes? No. Oh wait, yes. I can feel- uh, this is the one time. <laughs> I can feel the teacher's glare as I start nodding off. It's like my courage is being tested. Oh shit, let's go! <sighs> what a workout. I gotta teach those first years how to clean up properly. <laughs> hmm? So then, I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. And she totally freaked out and started crying. Oh no, it's the bullies. It was like we caught her red-handed or something. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Wow, that's pathetic. I've never laughed so hard in all my life. <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Bullies. Huh? Did you hear a voice? It's calling me. Huh? What voice? I don't hear anything. Oh. Yeah, randomly she got hit with that syndrome, huh? Uh, Maki? What's going on? Are you listening to me? Maki? Hello? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, what were we talking about? <sighs> They're finally gone. Ugh, I can't stand girls like that. Should've went all in. Sent it. Beat her ass. Work related. I have high hopes for you. It'd be great if you could attend my uh, the meeting today. Let's hang out after school. Miyamoto. Well, it is practice day. Number one persona streamer. Yes, sir. How you doing, Brandon? Hope you're having a good Sunday. Look at me. Looking fine. I feel I might grow close, uh, closer too. Okay. Yeah. Let's get pumped up. Today's gonna be the day I beat you. Doesn't Miyamoto seem slower lately? Yeah, he's not keeping his usual pace. He thinks he'll make it to the nationals like that. They don't know how hard he's trying. Why don't you give me a hand with the laundry? Ugh, the only thing they're good at is kicking up dirt. Hey, Kaz, Coach wants to see you in the office. Okay, be right there. <sighs> hey. Never mind. <laughs> I think we can wrap up practice for today. He's gonna have that talk with trainer. Hey! Let's walk home together.
So, the coach told me my performance has been slipping. I know you didn't say anything. I just think he can tell something's up. Hmm. How's your knee? I feel like that's the right response. It's sore, sure, but I managed to make it through practice today. He said I'd be suspended from the team if I'm hurt, but I told him I was fine. No, that's not what you do. I've already missed practice three times this year. I'm gonna have to seriously step up my game. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep my promise to my nephew. What if we just keep... ...gassing him up? Yeah. We made the save. You're right. In the end, <gasps> it's the toughest one who wins. I've decided that I'll take my chances for my nephew's sake. Even if I mess up my knee for the rest of my life. If that happens, I want you to be the next captain. Miyamoto opened up about his decision. I feel like we're becoming closer. Not exactly the happiest topic. That's just the worst case scenario. I'm gonna keep my promise, win the meet, then the nationals. Then I'll take care of my knee. Nothing can stop me now. Cue the last episode of Umamusume season two. I work part of the way home with Miyamoto. What's up, dude? Tartarus tonight? God, I hate when when I sneeze. I feel like my nose is constantly like <laughs> not like plugged, but like I don't know. Hey, so God, I hate bullying. Even just seeing it happen to someone else, it feels just as bad. Yo, same. Right? I overheard these girls today talking about how they were picking on someone. I couldn't tell who they were, uh, who they were talking about or anything though. Wish I could do something. You could have sent it! Just... L lay down the law in the middle of- in the middle of the hallway like that, just... Throw down. Can we go to, uh, the kitchen? Or is that locked today? Oh, okay, I guess I can. But what else is going on here? There's two exclamation marks. Oh, is that at the station? Mm. Oh. Asking around is the basic method of gathering information, but it's not going so well this time. How about it? Got any info on the mysterious incident? If you have any info, I can reward you for it. Who are you again, old lady? Who are you again, miss? I don't know anything. Bummer. You got a kind of mysterious aura, so I thought you might know something. You know the takoyaki stand over there? 
some fine dining. Sometimes this kid from Kansai eats at that place, and even he says it's good stuff. Takayaki comes from Kansai, so if a native says it tastes good, you better believe him. Whenever a passenger asks me where to get a bite to eat, I always send him over there. Yo, man. You see my text? Wanna grab a bite? Wait, he texted me? So now that invited me to join him, this might be a good opportunity to know him better. Hold on. I see. I guess it's pretty late already. I'm only free at night. I know if some time to hang out. He did send me a text. All right. Yes. Let's go. I've gotten a lot of my edge back since I've been able to focus on my training. I've been meaning to thank you for that. You've really stepped up as our leader. So tonight's on me. You've got enough responsibility as it is. Let's go, free dinner. Good, I'm starving. <laughs> so you've got talent and an appetite. I think you'd make a pretty good athlete. Just don't push yourself too hard. Things will get easier with experience. And if you need anything, let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help. Iwatodai? But, wow! I never thought I'd run into you here! We're big fans of yours! Please, can we get a picture with you? I'm busy, and I don't like having my picture taken. I kept hearing rumors that you were injured. Uh, are you okay now? Do you need any help? I is there anything I can bring you? Who do you think that is? You know. Not sure. Celebrity, maybe? Wanna go see? Oh, damn, the crowd is forming. Let's go. Let's go, man. I've had this problem at school, but I didn't think it happened out here, too. It's probably because of those interviews, or the rumors online. I've gotten all kinds of attention as I've kept up my winning streak. Sounds rough. <laughs> you could say that again. I'm not some panda in a zoo for everyone to gawk at. All I want is to be as strong as I can. I want to train hard and feel real pride in my strength. But all I ever seem to get is more trouble. All right, looks like they've given up. Let's head out to eat, for real this time. We only have so many hours left in the day. Hey, What's the food like vibe? That. I know a place that'd be perfect for us, girl. Yo, let's jump in. Let's beat some ass. Please, just leave us alone. We're not interested. One drink. That's all we're asking. Come on. It'll be fun. Some straight up Yakuza like a dragon shit right here. We said no, okay? Oh, they are the girls from earlier, huh? Hey. Leave them alone. You don't want the police to get involved, do you? Huh? Who the hell are you? What? You want to call the cops? Quit trying to act like a big man, you little punk. Now we win. Yeah, time for you to piss off. You piece of... Hold up. You got some slick moves. I bet you know how to fight, all right? So what if I do? How about you and I go a few rounds? If you ain't too busy, there's a spot around back. Whenever I see guys who think they're hot shit, all I want to do is put them in their place. Yo, this is absolutely just like a dragon. I bet a lot of people call you a tough guy. So how about we put it to the test? We're about to fight behind the Serena. The Serena building. <laughs> what? Is he scared now? <laughs> See? I told you. Nothing but trouble. 
Stay here. I'll be done in a minute. It'll take 90 seconds. <laughs> what? You think you're gonna beat me just like that? But don't worry. I won't go all out against an amateur. It's gotta be a fair fight. Yeah, I love this guy. <sighs> hey, over there! Break it up! <sighs> Let's beat it. Man. I told you, officer. They were the ones antagonizing <laughs> us. And I told you we'll hear all about it down at the stage. What? You're Nothing even happened. Students, aren't you? We'll need your contact information to notify your parents about this. If I could butt in. <gasps> Yo, the goat! And Kurosawa-san. I'll handle these two. I've already cleared it with the brass. I don't know what's going on here, but you better not be starting any trouble. That was a close call. <laughs> you didn't think we were in actual trouble, did you? Even if things got tense, I'd never put you in danger. Then why'd we get a report from two ladies saying you were attacked by a group of punks? If you want to show off to your buddy, there's a time and place for it. Listen, I'm an officer of the law. I don't care who you are. Anyone who disturbs the peace is going to have to deal with me. As you can see, your friend here is a bit of a hothead. I know it won't be easy, but try and keep an eye on him, would you? Leave it to me. Those are some bold words. The thing. My arm's healed, and we've got way more dependable people now. There's no better time to test my strength. Especially now that we have someone like you. We really lucked out on that one. So I'm gonna keep honing my skills. That way, I can put down anyone I face with my own two hands. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. In any case, don't get in over your heads. I have a hunch the guys you ran into were from a gang that's been active around here recently. Just be careful. You don't want to get on their bad side. Because once you're on it, you'll never get off. Do we get random encounters in the street now? Alright, it's late. You better head on home. This ain't a show, dipshit. So much for eating out. It's been non-stop interruptions all night. <sighs> Kurosawa-san's right, though. We should probably head home. Sorry about this. I'll treat you some other time. I'm gonna do some jogging on the way back. You wanna join? Sure. Good answer. It's dark, so watch out for cars. I'm gonna run ahead. You just follow at your own pace. I ran back to the dorm. I feel like my stamina has improved after running that long of a distance. Oh! Free HP, we love it. Um, hey. Have you heard about that second year? Yep, yep. Oh yeah, the one they found lying in front of the school gate this morning, right? Oh, hopefully she just ran away from home. But I feel like this is the start of something big. You know what? There might be a reporter and camera uh, and camera crews and stuff. I'd rather not deal with that. Hmm. Is it the same bullied student? Hey, did you hear about that girl in 2E? Yeah, I heard they have no idea what happened. Oh my god, isn't it so bizarre? Man, everyone's talking about it. People sure got a lot of time on their hands. So, you hear about it too? I haven't. A girl from 2E went missing while she was out late last night. And this morning, they found her lying in front of the school gate. Nobody knows what happened. And supposedly, she's still unconscious. Well, that's not good. Morning. Yo, Yucatan. Man, this is a tough case. Even for Junpei Yori, ace detective. It's the line! 
Oh, oh, she's gonna do him dirty. Ace detective. Oh, oh! Here it comes. You're so dumb. Oh. Hmm. Oh. More like stupid, Ace defensive. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen you all morning. Where you been? I was talking to the teacher. And that girl they found? I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed just fine then. Huh. The plot thickens. No longer number one percent. <laughs> You know I had to do it to him. Rumors suck, man. That one about the girl who collapsed is already all over the school. I hope no one spreads any rumors about me. I don't I don't think you're gonna have that problem, indifferent student. Oh. Oh. You know those rumors? They're a little creepy. Is that it? I heard a girl from class 2E fainted. Apparently it was apathy syndrome? Kinda scary, huh? She'd always stay out late, right? I bet she just happened to faint at the school gates. Apathy syndrome? So exaggerated. She'll probably wake up soon. Oh! Why did I put it like that? We gotta go visit! Oh god, I want to hang out with everyone here. This is fucked up. Alright, who's the juiciest? Looks like the other couple wants to see me. I feel as if I grow closer. I don't think our bond will grow any stronger. Oh. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to do that eventually. Did you tell anyone I'm running away from home? So we got the kid. And we also got Yuko. We start off. Did Michael already run from home, you think? Or maybe she's like prepping? Oh, she, she is in tears. Mom and dad, they... Um, I... I can't take it anymore. Mom and dad just keep fighting. I begged them to stop fighting so much. But they told me to leave them alone. <laughs> I made up my mind. I have to run away from home. Youch. I mean, usually you don't tell people to calm down. But I feel like running away is not the best idea for a five-year-old or however, however old she is. But obviously, it's not a good, good like home situation, you know. Hmm. I mean, <sighs> it's up to you, I guess. Soon. Hey, what should I bring if I'm running away from home? 
I need lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? Yeah, that should be enough. I'll take it'll take more than that. I mean, yeah, but I guess the guide says this is the enter. That's kind of crazy. Mike goes deep in thought. Either way, I'm gonna give it a try. Don't worry, I'll be just fine, okay? I'm gonna miss playing with you, though. Michael seems fond of me. I feel like we're growing closer. It's just like it takes two. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I gotta make sure I'm ready to go. I walked Michael home, then returned to the dorm. Okay, how about Yuko though? Oh, welcome back. Did you hear the rumor going around school? I mean, come on, a ghost story? You'd think they'd be old enough to know ghosts aren't real. Anyways, uh, I'm feeling kind of uneasy all of a sudden, so I think I'll go to bed Sorry. early. So I won't be going to Tartarus today. Sorry. The wait is over. What's the button? Seems like a pretty big moment for me to just like not hang out with her though, but Hi. <laughs> Time to hit the town and have some fun. How about we head to Polonia Mall? Maybe we get some uh some cake at Chigal too. You want to shorten your runtime, you're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! Is this, isn't this the second time the kids ran into her? like this you're lucky it's just me but what if you bumped into a scary man huh if you want to play do it at your schoolyard we can't play there the sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer they said they'll move if we could beat them in a race but we're only fourth graders there's no way we could win get the most cracked out fourth grader you can find slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big. Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. Yo, training session, let's go. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. 
Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, Big Sis! You should be our coach! Oh, I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Do it. Fucking, fucking do it. Is the answer why not give it a go? Because I feel like why not give it a go is the right call here. Wow, oh, guide gaming. I have to open up so many guides. Hmm. I think that's. I think any is fine. Really think I should? isn't a decision to make lightly. All right, I'll be your coach, but I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo. Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Well, never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Yuko began passionately instructing each child. Think positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds, sounds hard, hard, but okay. I watched Yuko as she coached the kids. Eventually, they all went home. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering. Would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking Whoa! a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle <laughs> it on my own. It's kind of a hassle though. Sure. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy too. Seems Yuko's counting on me. Hey. Let me see in this future. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. I left school with Yuko and returned to the dorm. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna maybe hang out with the kid. All right, and we're back. The wait is over. The weekend wild duck set is finally here. Plus your free drink that comes with the set will have extra ice. Pick away wild ducklings. Ate it wild duck. Made use of Okatsu. Oh, 
I guess we could check this. We want the special. Raises courage. Decided to try the Weekend Wild Duck set. The taste was indescribable, but I somehow finished the whole thing. Okay. Plus two. We're a very well-rounded character. Got a text message. Guess who's bored? What? No school and no track practice. Guess that means we gotta uh, go have fun somewhere. Let's hang out. Of course. Time for me to fumble all of these options. It was pretty crowded in there, huh? I wanted to give the punching machine a try, but the line's gotten so long, I'd rather not. Let's come back when it's less packed. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna be broke. Look, it's so cute. Plus, we might be able to get it in one shot. It's been a while since the last time I played. I may not look it, but I'm pretty good at these. We're not gonna be broke. I couldn't grab it at all. No way. That's some. That's such bull. This is, has to be rigged, right? Man, you suck. <laughs> uh, want me to give it a shot? Thanks for the offer, but don't worry. If I just keep nudging it in the right direction, I should be able to knock it down. Kind of a pain, but slow and steady wins the race, you know? Same thing with sports. People who are dedicated to training become world-class athletes. Anyways, time to put my game face on. I'll keep at it until I win this thing. Yuko seems really focused. I learned a little more about her today. Well, at least I got it in the end. But I'm so tired now. I definitely run out of stamina and money. Let's head back, Mankun. I need to eat dinner and recuperate. After saying goodbye to Yuko, I headed back to the dorm. Hey, see you back. Uh, I feel like something's gonna happen after this, huh? Honestly. This incident's quite troubling. As student council president, I need to do something. It doesn't help that I have no idea what's really going on. If you're looking for Mitsuru, she's in the back of the reception area. Apparently, she's uploading the dorm's records on, uh, records or something to the school server. She's got to do it every so often. I know it's her job, but still, she's really got a lot on her plate. <sighs> Damn, rumors spread fast, especially this one. Everyone at school knows about it, and soon everyone in town will too. Hmm. The girl they found was one of those girls I overheard talking about bullying someone. It's probably unrelated, though. Right, Mankun? Let's ask the ace detective. <sighs> oh, you're talking about Junpei. Seriously? He's such an idiot. Who is Mutatsu? Here, let's try the, uh, the special set, right? Is that available? The full course? I'll show you to your table. They know me as a regular customer. I wonder if it's due to my charm. I'll try the seafood full course. Thanks to the omega-3s and the fish, I feel like my mind is sharper than before.
Big Brain. We'll switch into the summer uniform today. It's almost time to leave. Good morning. The student body seems to be rather uh, restless lately, don't you agree? Yeah. Hmm. I thought so. Well, I only hope it doesn't have anything to do with shadows. Akiko uh, said we might be receiving a new member, but we still don't know when we'll be attacked. So remain alert at all times. Man, I don't know what it is. I think... I'm always so tired lately. <laughs> I feel like... Maybe I should sleep more. Take care? You're leaving your phone, your phone mine so you won't pick up? Yo, imagine if we just leave her on red for that, like... None of you respond to me, just come to the student council room, that's all. Are you ready? Let's race to practice. I'm sorry, but I'm responsible for a kid now. That's a pretty crucial message, you know? Hi. I was waiting for you. Is it okay if we talk? Thank you. So, um... Thank you for always helping me. But I gotta say bye for now. Yup. I have to run away now. Remember not to tell mom and dad, okay? Bye-bye! Damn, just like that. <gasps> Parents? Hey, you. Yeah? Have you seen a little girl? She's in elementary school. You just take a second and calm down. Calm down? What if something happens to her? Oh, please. This is what happens when you force a child to study non-stop. Why are you always like this? Everything has to be my fault. Oh, that's because it is your fault. This never would have happened if you'd been watching her. Look, we don't have time for this. I think I know who you are. You're the one, right? Maiko's told me about you. She said she played with a high school kid instead of practicing piano. What? This is the first I'm hearing of this. What the hell did you do to my daughter? The woman is extremely agitated. Shut up! Stop jumping to stupid conclusions. I'm sorry about this. We're Michael's parents. We haven't seen her since this morning. When we checked her room, we found a note that said, I'm running away. She's never done anything like this before. It's probably your fault. <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, send it. Maybe at the Takoyaki stand? Takoyaki stand? Oh, that place! Right, let's try looking. Maiko! Mom! Dad, and you too? Will I... Um, I... 
Malenko, are you okay? You're not hurt anywhere? I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. Why would you do such a thing? I was worried sick. Do you think that's funny, giving me a heart attack like that? Hey, that's enough. You made me worry, too. I was so scared. You said you were getting a divorce, and, and I didn't know what to do. I... I don't want you to get divorced. <laughs> oh, so that's what this is all about. We're really sorry, Maiko. Why don't we go home and talk about it? It's awful we pulled you into this. I'm not sure what else to say. Hey, I told you to keep it a secret. We're a narc, fuck. But, thank you. Maiko seems relieved to see that her parents care about her. I feel like we're growing closer. Michael went home to her parents, so I decided to go back to the dorm. Yo, hey, the summer fits? Hey, you ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, now, they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff, right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? Uninterested. Go on, tell us. Mm. You got it. Here goes. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. He's looking right into the camera. I'm fucking petrified. There are many strange things in this world. Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home, a maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A. Anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E and claims he watched her go into the school on the night. Before the incident! I told him, I don't believe it. Not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it hit me. was found unconscious at school then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner it all made sense she went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap I felt a chill run down my spine and I broke into a cold sweat yes there truly are some strange things in this world believe it or don't Okay, I'm kind of tempted. Mm. No, it's okay. Because that'll affect how it sounds on stream, but it won't affect it for me. Because, like, I feel like sometimes this game is, like, really, really quiet. Like, I don't see it get anywhere past, like, maximum negative 15, negative 10. And I have it completely maxed out. What do you think, Akihiko? 
Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? <laughs> I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then. Let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? Well, leave it to you guys then. Would have been mm. too scary for me. Yo, nighttime mission? All right, let me try something. Uh, filters. Oh. Huh. I have a compressor in my desktop audio? What if I turn that off? Oh, I have that on there for the sidechain stuff. Okay, well, what if we throw, like, some gain on here? Like a plus four? Oh, goodness, no. Plus six, and then like I raise my own personal like headphone mo headphone audio. We're getting a lot of inquiries from parents and reporters alike. Mm. I'm not seeing that it's adjusting. Uh, adjusting my compressor. Hold on. Uh, side chain ducking mic, uh, threshold negative 15. It's supposed to be output gain negative four. Uh, We'll just set that back to zero. And I will adjust the gain to be negative four instead. Because I think six is too much. Oh goodness, no. We're getting a lot of inquiries from parents and reporters alike. Oh. Takaba seems pretty serious. Well, good to be that invested in things. If you're free, how about lending her a hand? Let's see. The Takabo won't go to Tartarus tonight. Perhaps it would be better uh, to go when everyone can join us. Though I suppose... Uh, though I suppose I... I suppose to admit I'm a bit curious about those supposed hauntings. I'm trying to find stuff online about the ghost story. It seems like it'd take a while though, so I'm not gonna go to Tartarus today. Sorry. Hmm. More brain food? What's the max personality? Is it 10? Oh. Oh, we're gonna get some actual story tonight. Good evening. 
I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? Yo, dip out, bro. I'm trying to sleep. I'm chilling on my nice. bed. Come on, don't be so mean. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until next time. Morning. I'm gonna do my best from today onward. Max social stats is six, by the way. Sounds good, sounds good. Good luck. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Oh, whatever. I'm gonna look into everything there is about the ghost story. Remember? We'll share our findings on Friday. Did you also try gathering information too? Like maybe you could talk to some students after school? So, in this section, this phrase, mono sas, uh, mono sasama jiku, also appears in Ugetsu Monogatari. Of all the Ugetsu tales, I'm most fond of the one about the vengeful ghost wife. Ghost mention! Uh, such an eerie yet poignant story. Speaking of which, I've got a pretty good ghost story on my own. Care to hear it? I'm feeling eepy. We stay awake. Yes, precisely. Then, my friend. Uh, my friend, the one who came with me into the tunnel, suddenly screamed. There's a girl right behind you! We ran back home scared out of our wits. And long, uh, not long after that, I started hearing the strangest thumping noises coming from inside the wall. And the faintest, uh, faintest voice croaking, Let me out. Let me out. As far as I knew, that room had always been vacant. Who was in my wall? So one night, I decided to go right up to the wall where the sound came from and knock on it. <laughs> All of a sudden, right in my ear, I hear this girl's voice loud and clear. I'm here. And that's where the youngest member of my family came from. She grew up uh, to be just like any ordinary human, though. Nowadays, I only lie awake in fear that she'll run off and marry this loser she's been seeing. Oh, there's the bell. Okay, class, that's all for today. I have neglected this guy. He's so, he's so persistent. I don't think I've hung out with him in a long time. He is still sending me texts just to check, you know? I would have maybe started falling off at that point. Hey. Did you find out anything about the ghost story? I'm gonna prove to everyone that it was just a rumor. And I'm not scared, all right? Ghosts can be creepy, but they don't have to be, uh, but they don't have to be, right? If there was a ghost that looked like a cute girl, I wouldn't mind being haunted by it. Well, as long as she doesn't devour my soul or something. Did you hear? I haven't. Kirijo Senpai would uh, want a man who likes to study. Maybe I should study more. If I became the smartest in my class, she might accept me even though I'm a girl. I heard Yama uh, Yamagishi-san fainted again, and she's taking days off of school. I wonder if she's okay. She doesn't look very strong. They said a girl in class 2C fainted too, and I heard it's apathy syndrome again, but I wonder if it's contagious. I already told you, she just happened to faint in front of the gate. Apathy syndrome's so exaggerated. They better, uh, they get better if you tell, give them some time. Hmm. I never expected anything like this to happen to someone from this school. My sister goes here too. It's a good thing she's not the kind of girl who stays out all night. Oh yeah, the French, 
The French kid is in the, uh, the home economics room. As long as you pass your exams, you'll be fine. But I never study for my exams because I'm too lazy. Well, at least, at least you're aware. Hey there. Ah, Mount Coon. There's no meeting today. My day just doesn't feel right with that one. Don't you agree? I have never shown up to a single meeting. My day is all right with one, without one. Welcome. Oh dear. Did you hear that one of the students fainted? Is she all right? There's a lot of weird stuff going on out there. You should watch out too. Yo, all right, at nighttime, I gotta remember to put these, these away. I've been holding on to this lukewarm Taiyaki for like the better part of two weeks now. Like, ain't no way it's still good, but like, it might be better if I put it in the fridge. Everyone's talking about the ghost and that kind of stuff. I hate those kinds of stories. Like how they say a ghost will get you if you stay at school for too long. I better get going. See ya. Any ghosties up here? Any spectral... Spectral beings? Any wraiths? All right, practice time. So when you max out a social link, is there anything like, like you just stop hanging out with them? What's up? You end the practice, right? I'm feeling pretty good about myself today. Get psyched up without you there, you feel me? I've been slowing down lately, so I gotta uh, go twice as hard now. Be I'm still hanging out for the vibes. True. What is it? And what's with the scary look? What do you think you're doing? Just practicing? Well, that's enough practice for you. Get your butt to the nurse's office. The rest of you, get back to it. I mean, the school probably got informed, right? The nurse's office? Miyamoto, did something happen? <sighs> Knew it! He's such a bad liar. You can totally tell he's going easy on one knee. I know you have something to do with this. Sorry, but you're coming too. <gasps> no! We've been accomplice zoned. I head to the nurse's office with Yuko. I just had a call with your mom about your knee. You're throwing caution to the wind, young man. That blabbermouth. I want you to stop before things get any worse. You got that? Please don't do this to me. I need to practice. I heard, Kaz. Yuko! And you too? Take some time off, Kaz. Practice can wait till you're all better. I can't! I don't have time! Huh? What's the rush? Why do you do these things to yourself? You've been hanging around with Miyamoto lately, right? You must know what's going on. Yo! Uh... Do I feel like, yo, know, we gotta be a little silent, you know, but like, we will not speak. Wait, 
He has nothing to do with this. I don't want you to get dragged into this. So I'll come clean. Miyamoto's trying to protect me. Wah! So, truth is... And that's the gist of it. So I need to practice. I have to win. Or else... I know how you feel, Miyamoto, but... It all depends on me if my nephew ever walks again. So that's what's going on. I don't mind if he competes in the regionals. It's just the individual competition, so we don't have to worry about him bringing us down. Huh? Hey, what happened to practice? We were worried about Miyamoto. Guys. I'll let you keep training for now. We'll see how things go. But if I tell you to stop, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen. And I want you to go home today. Your mother will be upset with me if I let you stay. Sorry, coach. Everyone, I... I think we're done here. The rest of you, back to training. I finished training with everyone and went back to the dorm. Okay, the Taiyaki is going in the fridge. Welcome back. Wanna go to Tartarus later? <laughs> Damn. I don't wanna go beat the crap out of some shadows, you know, stress reliever. Let me put the Taiyaki away. The fridge in here seems to have broken. I should use the one in the lounge. The fridge is stuffed full of food and ingredients. It doesn't seem like the lukewarm taffy will fit. The next clearance date is 616. You're kidding me! I'm not going to remember that. My my fridge is broken and the one in the the one in the dorms is packed or the one in the lounge is packed full. It's fucked up. Fucked up is what it is. Uh. What did I get myself into? Actually, I didn't get myself in anything. This is all Junpei's fault. Stupid and it's... Stupid, believe it or don't. Ah. Yo. Well, good luck. Whatever the reality is, this definitely sounds like it'll be interesting. Looking forward to the results. Could it be? It's difficult for me to believe that there was an incident caused by ghosts. However, we currently lack a lot more, uh... Lack of a more logical explanation. So maybe worth looking into. Please let me know if you come across any useful information. Oh, no, no. I thought those stories were fake. Uh, were all fake. Seems like she is doing actual research on them. Is this the power of Junpei's believe it or don't? What? What? You got a problem? Oh. Yikes! She's seriously pissed, man. It is a, uh, a good day, good night, to go to work. The cafe is filled with pheromones? Despite being busy, I responded to complaints. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sticking it out today. 
Charm and Courage increase. What's up, dude? Are you looking into that ghost story? Like, asking around about it? A little? I know you're lying, man. Well, not like I've done anything myself. I say we just let Yukatan handle it. I think she's taking this way too seriously, dude. Yeah, she can be pretty stubborn. As for me, I have plenty of scary stories up my sleeve already. I bet the story I told the other night made your hair stand on end. They say it's true, though. Have you been? Come swing by the shop. All right. I think I'm gonna raise the monorail today. Hmm. Oh, can we go to the club? It's closed. Let's see, to start the game, insert one coin. Control it using the two buttons and what are you looking at? I'm not just reading the directions, I'm carefully planning my next move. I think I gotta hang out with the old couple. To continue the storyline. Look at all those aspects syndrome guys. They're skipping school and work, right? That's nice. I wish I had Apathy Syndrome, too. Then I could sit here all day long, just like them. I don't think our bond will grow any stronger, even if I spend more time with them. So... I forget, if it, it says that, does that mean, like, it's just never gonna go up? Or does that just mean it's not going to go up then? Like, if I hang out with them now, that would mean that they're good next time, probably, right? Yeah, I don't think our bond will go any stronger even if I spend more time with them. Let me see. Let's feel it for now, next time we progress probably. Okay. We just hang out. Don't you think so, Gaga-chan? <laughs> oh, you. I feel my bond with the two of them grow stronger to spend time together. I feel like our relationship will grow stronger soon. I decided to head back to the dorm. Is it June 4th yet? I see you're back. You're back. The farther in a social link, the more social link points you need, so you'll fill in more often. Mm. Did you do any research for that ghost story, Mancoon? Yeah. Really? I knew I could count on you, but man, there sure are a bunch of different stories floating around. I can't tell which is real and which is fake. Maybe they're all fake. <sighs> Dude, there are rumors all over the school. Don't people have anything better to talk about? How are we supposed to figure out what's true and not? It's hopeless. Can we buy new, uh, new internet posts? Nope. You know that fortune teller? She's got a weird presence. 
I want to tell her my for I wanted her to tell my fortune, but I don't have the courage to talk to her. Hmm. The girl's been shy her life. She doesn't talk to people she doesn't know easily. I guess that fortune teller does have a different air about her. Heard a bunch of stuff's happening out there. How about it? Anything happening out there with you? Yeah. Well, not here. It appears you've had a change within you. Allow me to provide you with a new fortune befitting the unusual light you hold within. What shall it be? Wonder if I have to do any actual investigating then. Is there anything at the Net Cafe? Azuki Arai Sweet's mascot, staring at something with its big round eyes. Brain time. This one takes the longest, right? Oh, only Prodigy Platter? Anything on the computer we can do? Lessons in etiquette. Beautiful body. Courage. Strength and muscles. Maybe the charm. Lessons in etiquette. Uh, should you arrive 10 minutes early to important meetings? No. You should arrive 10 minutes early to all meetings, not just important ones. The tricky questions continue. I finished answering a large number of quiz questions. The manner I learned. Uh, the manners I learned might make me more attractive and respective. Gotten late. I should head back to my room. Wah. Back when I was taking like production courses in like uh, film, Morning. I was always told uh, for like sets and stuff to show up an hour early. And apparently, that was the etiquette. So 10 minutes is kind of, kind of light. This sucks. I spent so much time thinking about ghost stories that now I'm having nightmares. How's the research? Yeah. It's going. But there's so many stupid rumors going around that it's tough trying to make sense of the whole thing. I did get some useful info though, so I plan on digging even deeper today. Try to remember what you find out at school, okay? Uh, at school, okay, Mancoon? It's tomato day! We're gonna get good tomatoes! You're free, right? Let's hang out. Alright, hold on though. I wanna check Yo. check with my boy. Alright. Yamagishi's absent today, too. You know how the ghost stories about the school are kind of popular right now? I'm not too good with that kind of stuff. Hmm. If you're the last one left in the school building, you'll hear a creepy PA announcement. A sobbing old lady's voice comes from the speakers. They'll find your corpse covered in bright red blood, and that's all. Hmm.
Thought I could turn up some info, but I didn't find anything at all. All three passed out, but they were in different classes. Different clubs, too. So my investigation isn't going very well. Partly because of all their friends and those thugs. Uh, partly because all of their friends were those thugs. And I obviously don't want to deal with them. One of the students who collapsed was my, in my sister's class. I guess she was running away from home as well. I heard she's always... She was always hanging around those thugs at that one place. Every corridor tonight. Tartarus tonight. The girl who collapsed was in my class. I heard she would run away from home and stay out all night. Alright, where's the... Oh, we don't got that, that French kid today. You know what? Let's hang out with someone new. We're gonna continue to neglect Tomochika. What's up, uh, Chihiro? Uh, um. About what happened the other day, I sort of overreacted and, um, just wanted to say I'm sorry. I get really nervous when I talk to people, although I know I should really do something about it. <laughs> it's especially bad when I talk to boys. All I can think of is running away in that situation. I'm a guy. <laughs> hey, that's me! I know, that's why I'm so nervous now. Sorry, I know I can't perform my duties on the student council if I'm like this. I have to try harder to overcome this phobia. Thank you very much. I'll try to do my best. Oh! We can't hang out with her. Is my only choice Tomochika? She's so persistent. She must have some kind of iron will to follow me around this much. Damn, he's still getting chased? She'd make a great detective. You see that? He just threw a rock at a bird resting on that branch. If he keeps it up, he might get possessed by evil spirits. But that's just rumors, so probably not. Okay. We'll hang out with Tomochika. I forget if this was the bond where he was like, Hey, yo, don't, don't let him know my secret, but I'm going to try to get at the teacher. Yo, what's up? Yeah. Lucky me, let's go somewhere then. And it's got to be you know where. Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor. Man, I'm so sick of this, dude. Of life? Of school? Of ramen? You can never get sick of ramen. Oh, hold on. Tomo chica. Of life. Life? Dude, you watch too much reality TV. But I guess, yeah, you could say I'm sick of life. Damn. I get up, go to school, sit through lame ass lectures, eat, watch TV, and go to bed. Okay. He's got to change it up. It. I'm going to get myself a girlfriend right now. But not like that. I don't know if that's the way you approach that. Good luck, Jill. What a cool thing to say. Soon, I'll have a girlfriend and be just as cool as you. Okay, wait, never mind. He says I'm cool. Maybe maybe he's goaded. All right. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on my secret plan. I told you about the teacher, right? I'm going to ask her out and get her to fall in love with me. Her name is Miss Kano. You heard of her? She teaches third year ethics. We get along pretty well. She's not mainstream beautiful, but she's really pretty. She's got these cute little eyes, a sexy body. <laughs> Who let this man cook? Get him out of the kitchen. Uh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? You're the only one who knows. Tomochika told me more about his plan. 
I feel like our relationship is stronger. Dude, I'm getting so psyched! Let's cook up a plan of attack. And then I never hung out with them again. It's tomato time! Come to think of it, the crops they planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Maybe I should check on them. Looks like the produce can be harvested. Should I plant something? Do I have anything to plant? Chilling on my bed. Limited set meal. Oh, they got the good food. All right, we're going back. Oh, wait, but I think I also saw that uh, Akihiko might have had something to say. Well done. Man, let's talk about something. Don't you get tired of these rumors? Yeah. I see. That's what I thought. Well, good luck with your research. Hello. How's your uh, research into the ghost story progressing? We're missing something. Precisely. I can see why it'd be difficult to ascertain the truth in such a situation. But don't let yourself be discouraged. So like, again, I'm like kind of tired today. I want to keep going. I want to play a lot. Which kind of makes me want to, you know, drink some like gamer subs or something. But it's Sunday. I will fuck myself so hard if I drink something with caffeine right now, I think. I kind of fixed it. I'm not going to bed at 4 anymore, so I won't, but... You know what it is? I woke up early today. I got up at 8-ish. Had to do some recording for someone, and then it's like, oh, okay. What time did I sleep? Mm. Maybe like 3, 3.30? After... After you stopped streaming Octopath, Eli, uh, I stayed up a little longer, because we, we kept working on... We kept working on the cover. And by that, I mean the other cover, the one that I'm working on by myself. And I was like doing some... some takes. Late at night, singing in my room at like 2.30 With a little bit of mixing It's like getting there We're too addicted to the projects in gaming today? We're gonna share our findings about the ghost stories tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's the vibes. Reminds me of people singing karaoke at like 4 a.m. back in the Philippines. <laughs> I heard some pretty interesting stories while asking around. Anyways, don't forget about tonight, okay? Did 
you two ask around like we agreed? Yes. Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you. I know, I know. I'm kidding. Man, you've got such a short temper. Fine. Then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Yeah. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am. Is it like after school, after school, or like after school? You're the only one I can count on? Don't ask why, just come? Okay, I mean, like, when you put it like that, Tomo Chica, like, maybe I gotta help you? Because, like, earlier you were just like, Hey, free to hang? Hang out tonight? Hey, can you hang out tonight? And now it's like, I am in fucking shambles, bro. I need your help. So, like, we kind of got to be there for that. Hey. Totally random, but you ever heard of the Gourmet King? Apparently, there's a foodie around here who's cut above the rest. They say he's a student at our school. Wouldn't it be cool if he told us the best place to eat? I'd totally take a date oh, there. Yeah. I heard he's pro uh, really into sandwiches now, so you could probably catch him eating one in the town. Told me she could give me a lead on the Gourmet King. By the way, I actually wanted to talk to you for a sec. Don't worry, it won't take too long. Hmm. Alright, hold on. Yo! Is that right? We are slacking on the club. All right, Tomo Chica. Let's hang out. Seriously? I guess I gotta tell you this someday. Come on, let's head to the courtyard downstairs. Hey, thanks for coming, man. You mind waiting here for a sec? <laughs> he said my character's name, man. Uh, sure. Okay, listen, but don't freak out. I'm gonna go ask Miss Kano out. Like, right now! Good luck! Thanks, man. Time to go get myself a girlfriend. Alright, this is it. Here I go. Are we gonna see this? Dude, dude, dude! Oh, man. Listen to this. <laughs> I would leave. She said yes. I can't believe it. This is crazy. Oh, she's a predator. That's not good. I was just about to ask her out, but then she asked me if I wanted a private lesson. Oh, maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe, maybe she took it as like, oh, hey, you need like... You know, like extra tutoring or something? For real, dude, I owe you. I owe you big time for hearing me out. It sounds like Tomochika's plan uh, went well. I feel like our relationship is stronger. All right, I'm a little worried for this guy now. <laughs> Hold up. I'm about to head over to her house. Oh man. I'm not ready for this. I shouldn't expect anything too crazy from the get-go, right? But then again, she is an adult, so... Oh, forgot you were there. Sorry, but I got a jet. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, same. It's getting dark, so I decided to head home. As we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. 
But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? Uh... There were three victims? Correct. Yeah. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes. And at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? They were hanging out with thugs, right? What is this? A quiz show? Or not thugs, but Do like you know? rowdy crowd. What did all three victims have in common? They all stayed out late. Uh, they hung out together. Right? Oh, is there like actual like uh, a loss here? Hold on. We're <laughs> opening up the guide. Persona 3. We're guide gaming. Okay. June 6th? Oh, I guess there isn't. Okay, well they- I think it was because they hung out together, right? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Is this gonna be about the, uh, the last call for the last people at the school? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? Of course. We could not let now people go talking. alone. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Man... Say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. We all agreed to go somewhere shady tomorrow night. Oh, maybe. Seems like you went digging for info too. You answered all my questions correctly. Here, you can have this. It's a little prize for keeping your promise. Wait, I would have lost something if I got it wrong. Cielo missed? She gave me a can of Cielo Mist? Hell yeah! People gather there a couple of times a month. The baddest of the bad all get together. Looks like a reunion for a bunch of ex convicts. And apparently, they're gonna be there tomorrow. Isn't that really bad? What if we run into them? Alright, all right, enough's enough. Tomorrow, I'm gonna put an end to Junpei's stupid believe it or jump. You're not too freaked out about this, right, Mancun? Yeah, I'm good. We're yeah. good. Good, I knew I could count on you. Something the matter? Greatly appreciated. I'm impressed that you've been able to gather so much information in such a short amount of time. Hmm? Akiko should come with us. What are you planning to do this time? Don't do anything too crazy. He 
could like ego everyone in the alley while we investigate. Oh yeah, wasn't it supposed to get like really bad tomorrow or today? I have to remember that I have plans tonight. <gasps> the kid is back. Yuko is here. The old couple. Don't forget about today, okay? Dude, you could tell I'm taking this way too seriously. Why did I open my big mouth? What happens if I hang out with Maiko? I don't think our bond will go stronger. Yuko? I feel like we might grow closer. Okay. And Bunkichi. Wait, it's all good. These two are good. Let's go. All right, we'll start with Yuko. Hi. Oh wait, no. Yuko's was the was uh the kids, right? Mm. Coaching the kids. Let's visit our favorite old couple. Uh. Oh man. Oh, look, dear. He's here. Try and perk up for the boy, all right? I understand their reasoning, but if, if they really go through with this, if we lose that tree, it would be like losing our son all over again. Don't fight. Oh, we're fine. We're not fighting. I was just fussing. Sorry for making you worry. Apparently the rumor about cutting down the persimmon tree was true. So we went to the school together to say our goodbyes. Unfortunately, that just reminded my dear of the pain we felt the day our son died. Hey, it's gonna be all right. See, dear? That's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, then what'll your admirers think? Right? That's pretty good. Oh my, don't make fun of this wrinkled old lady. I can sense the elderly couple's appreciation. I feel like we're growing closer. by again anytime, all right? My wife would always be happy to see such a handsome young man. Here, My wife. take this for when you get hungry. Fried bread? Yeah, we got fried bread. We're always winning. Parted ways with the elderly couple and went back to the dorm. It's time. Let's get going. Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. We're gonna go get jumped in an alley. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? Cause stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can't see. Like bats and knives. 
big deal, so it's a little dangerous. Come on, let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? She's very brave. Yep, strike hard. <laughs> excited about this we're gonna go get into some fights we should try gathering information at the outskirts of the station Yo. you guys getting out this hour I don't know what you're up to but just avoid going anywhere dangerous but shouldn't we tell them precisely Are all three of you heading out together take care not to get injured who's gonna tell them The hell are you kids doing out this late? You delinquents keep luring in the, long, uh, in the wrong places, getting up to no God knows what. Whichever one of your gangs wears the heavy clothes to cover his tattoos, tell him I got my eyes on him. Now scram or I'll call the cops. It's the dream team. Sheesh, you guys are always together. What's up? Hold on, you're not really going to Port Island Station right now, are you? Haven't you heard the reports? It's super unsafe. Wait, seriously? Going to a place like this this late at night, it's not going to be so easy for a stand-up guy like me. Jeez. Would you stop complaining already? It's It'll be nothing. All we have to do is take the monorail to the station. What's so hard about that? No way. That's not exactly what I meant by not easy. You know, Yukatan, you might actually be scarier than the punks we're bound to run into. I made all the wrong decisions and we're gonna get stabbed in this alley. The hell are these guys? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I. What I'm seeing is. Being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, <laughs> you mean me? We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Yo, if we keep going down this, you might not be able to read pretty soon. Come on. Don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on. Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. It'll be fine. These guys are scum. Oh, yeah, what if we pull out the guy? We're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? No! Jinpei! Hikari, <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. Oh, oh, it's this guy. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? The same show, dipshit. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Hey, Gustavo, how you doing? Son of a bitch. You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Happy Sunday, happy Monday. Hope you're having a good one. Bro, this man is like a... He's from... He's from Yakuza. <laughs> We're about to see a street fight. Should we find out? Uh, this boy's 17 looking divorced at 35? <laughs> like, no shot this guy's 17. No. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. What a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah, now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. 
You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? That's crazy. Damn it, you're gonna regret this. Oh man, Senpai, that was awesome. I don't think I've seen this guy at school. I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Who the fuck are you? Did Aki tell you to come here? No, he didn't. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? <laughs> yes, that's right! <laughs> How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They'd brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? Oh. You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? Wait, it was Fuka who's getting bullied? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? She's dead. This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? It'll be fine. So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. So trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? Did they used to be besties? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Show some appreciation. Thanks. Just that stoic ass, like, hey, thanks. I didn't do nothing. Thank you for helping us and for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. Can we be his friend? Dude, I'm drenched in cold sweat. But man, what Aragaki-san told us was shocking, huh? Oh! I like Hirijo Senpai know what we found out about Yamagishi-san. The fact that she's missing is no uh, is no small feat. Small matter? Man, we're totally gonna get yelled at for doing that without permission. I can already see it happening. Imagine becoming a door. Oh wait. I'm not sure what that's in reference to just yet. <sighs> By the way, hello, hello, how you doing? It's been a minute, glad to see you back. Told you it wasn't the idea to go there, dude. If Aragaki-san hadn't helped us, who knows what would happen to us. Ugh, I'm getting an ulcer just thinking about it. <sighs> I said I was sorry. I didn't think it would be that bad. Well, now you know. Next time, have a little more faith in what I say. Anyways, there's no way in hell I'm ever setting foot in that place again. Hey! That guy looked kind of scary, but he was actually really nice, don't you think? I think so. I think he's got a heart of gold underneath that rough exterior. Yeah. Well, can't judge a book by its cover and all that, but what was he doing at that place? Give me a break. Seriously? Going to a place like that? There are limits to how reckless you can be. I mean, I'm proud of you guys for trying to gather information, but be a little more careful next time. Hmm? Something the matter? Hmm. Tartarus tonight? <laughs> Yamagishi's disappeared. It began with a ghost story, but it has developed into a serious situation. We have to do something. Oh, I guess we have the rest of the night. 
spend time with Tanaka and Mutatsu. We still don't know either of those people. Which means... The wait is over. Except, that was just my shortcut to go get Wakatsu. Doors always had the best plot twists. <laughs> You never know what's behind them. All right, who's trying to kick it today? Oh, <gasps> Miyamoto? What are you up to today? If you're free, let's go somewhere. Let me know if you can make it before the afternoon. Yeah, we need this. We need this because, uh, we can't develop his thing any further unless, uh, unless we do a filler day. <laughs> Dude, my knee just keeps getting worse. The stairs are killing my knee. Why do I even bother anymore? What's the point of going through all this pain just to win? Are you liking it so far? Did you play P5? I haven't yet, but I'm enjoying P3R so far. It's really fun. This is my first Persona, pretty much. I'm planning on, like, um, at least down the line going maybe, like, uh, R4 or 5, maybe. Or maybe, like... We'll see. It might even jump into 5 and then go back to 4, since I know the mechanics are very similar for like reload to like 5, and then like we'll go into 4 from there, because they're not necessarily connected, so it's not like I have to experience them in the like linear order. It's for your nephew. Got it. Yeah, if I give up now, he might never find the courage to walk on his own two feet. But I can barely deal with my own problems right now. Can I even help him like this? Or help him with his? I learned a little more about him today. Jump into five first, yeah. Guess all I've got now is my last resort, Divine Intervention. After we finish eating, I'm gonna stop by the shrine. I'll make sure to toss in more coins than usual when praying. Also, so I don't have to double dip into Royal. <laughs> it's double dip year, Reverie Royal. Free up your day tomorrow for me? Oh, of course. There's a lot to be done for Fuka uh, Yamagishi's case, so I'm gonna require your assistance. Please. If you have any urgent affairs, then I suggest you settle them by the end of today. Yeah, this is like the equivalent of me. I mean, I guess it's not, because it's not like I started with, like, Reverie or anything like that. But it's kind of like how I started with Cold Steel and, and went back to Sky. Oh, I could really press that if I, like, decided to just play, like, the very first Persona. I've seen, like, GIFs of it. I've seen GIFs of, like, walking down the hallways in Persona 1 or 2, I think. Just, like, I don't know, something about walking into walls, you know? We need that experience in our life. So damn smart. <laughs> something, something, walking into walls, something, something, tweaking like Mark Simpson. <laughs> He's tweaking! I got into Persona 5 through a meme, finished the whole game and loved it. Mm -hmm. Very valid. There was another game that I got into that was similar to that. I don't quite remember, though. 
We're supposed to gather in front of the faculty office during lunch. What's this about? You serious? We're supposed to ask about Fuku Yamagishi, remember? But asking Mr. Okoda for an explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame, especially after going through that spot behind the train st ah, behind the station at night. Mm hmm. Oh, <gasps> Hirijo Senpai, why are you here? They caught the bully. Same reason you are, Mr. Okoda. I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way. Fuka... Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kirijo-kun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. She's only sad because she got caught. Fuck her. Yama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That's pretty fucked up. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself. But she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. Oh, and Fuka's still missing. Wait, that's crazy. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. Yo, is she on like a vengeance arc? But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy that she's got the authority over the, over the teacher here, you know? children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Yo, fucking go off! Let's go! Despicable. Oh! <laughs> Despi- No! I, I- I didn't mean- uh, I, I was just- Akoda should end it then and there. <laughs> That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. I'm, see I'm seeing the flushed emoji uh, come up on the, on the YouTube heart thing. Who's doing that? Wait, but... <laughs> Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <sighs> about your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? <sighs> a voice. A oh, voice. that's right. Because her, her friend was like a... Uh... Like, spacing out and said she was hearing something. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. <laughs> Senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. 
Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the Dark Hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. Man, enemy of mankind? We're feeling kind of, kind of near. <laughs> if you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. Luka. <laughs> Iori and Takeba too. Okay. God, I okay. That's the one fucking curse about about the name I chose for for MC. Cause like when I just see a man, when I just see man, and like I'm expecting to hear a voice line, cause this, I'm just thinking she's like man, <laughs> Iori and Takeba too. <laughs> we'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight. Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Ikari would get us shanked. That's the best part. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Tartarus. Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since oh. she got locked in the gym? Oh! That's right. Wait, so... So she's gonna be a case of... Not getting out of Tartarus? That was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? So maybe it's only been... She's only been missing for ten hours? That's a good point. This is just a theory, but I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. That's right. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait. We got the hopium. Isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I like Akihiko. Yeah, yeah, I stand Akihiko fucking valid. Like, I really like this guy. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. Yeah, we like our senpais. <laughs> if something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. <sighs> Senpai? All right. We know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> In that case, I've hmm. got just the thing. You do? Yeah, what's he cooking? What's Junpei cooking? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. 
We'll make a big hole. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set. An explosive. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll let you handle this. Wait, wait, did us? There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. Yeah. <laughs> See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? Well, I mean, I think there's something to brag about if everyone else didn't think about this. <laughs> so you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. We, oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Can we turn on the lights? <laughs> Mitsuru is hilarious. She went straight for explosives. I mean, honestly, we just say the wildest, just like that most out of pocket shit. See if it sticks. Started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. Mm -hmm. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? Sounds good. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to Is the faculty office. Is that a for everyone for it in his head? That sounds interesting. Oh yeah. He's got that little that little gauze pad. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. <laughs> Flushed emoji. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. Alright, let's get this over with. Should head to the faculty office. Do we have Okay. Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide. It's just the janitor. guard you know there's absolutely no way the security guard didn't like notice like this is like we got like rock pillars and like tile like there has got to be a hella reverb like sound travels in here think it's a ghost uh, of course i don't we already know it's not a ghost and besides i'm not that afraid of Damn, even I in 2009. Most people out, right? Spam call? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. Mm. 
Yeah, I got that. Right? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anyone in the faculty office, it might be a good time to enter. Coward option again. Okay, but like, that's not the route I'm going, you know? Like, that's not how I'm playing. We we want we want no. bestie. No. It's so dark. I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Uh Morg. <laughs> what? Are you trying to scare me or something? Mm, you better watch out. What goes around comes around, buddy. Wait a minute. This is the key to the gym. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? We nice. gotta be inside. Come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. You come too, man. All right. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatan. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? No, no, it's oh, fine. yeah, didn't they have like beef sort of doesn't she have beef? It's almost time Let's go Damn, we really put her in the survival horror like section of the game, huh? Like no gun, no persona, like all by herself in the building. Calling me. I I have to go to school. Tell her I'm sorry. Huka. We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. We are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. Mitsuru, can you hear me? I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. That stuff right. Yo? Akihiko, come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, we got damn wait. We really inverse teleported in lethal company. 
I must have lost consciousness. Also, I saw there's a new Lethal Company update. I kind of want to give that a shot one day. I don't see Son uh, Sonata or Junpei. Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Where are the others? Don't worry. You'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. So many you. monsters. I hope we meet again. Okay, is it too much of a stretch? Like, we don't know much about, like, MC past, right? Here, I'm gonna cook a little bit. Can't provide backup. Like, what if that's, like... Some, uh... What was it? Um... Road to the top? Like, that was our... Our dead little brother or something? Because we kind of got, like, similar hair. It's Fuka. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that that little little kid's got to be like either little kid me or like little bro. Like we're just like conversing with our demons. I guess it would suck to fight with just me. Humanity restored. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. Yeah, the I'm way she's there. talking, she has not been in here for ten days. It's we're go, we're operating under the the ten hour scenario, you know. You would be so like. You know, like if, if you didn't like eat or drink or tend to, I mean, you'd be dead, but looks like a halo map. Oh yeah, yeah, it really does. It looks like a covenant ship. I've been thinking of playing like Halo sort of. There was a, a, a challenge in Halo called like uh, Lasso, Legendary All Skills On. Uh, I ha I've never got around to finishing Halo 2 for that. But it was something that I wanted to do. 10 days, it's like cryostasis, yeah. Yeah, you could probably keep someone alive for a pretty long time just hanging out in there. But then you're also just like hanging out in Tartarus, which isn't really a vibe. Unless you're into the, like, monstrosity, unknowable horrors. Oh, hey, gang gang. Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. Glad you two are safe. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? That's it? That's the voice? That sounded like right there. Wait, didn't that come from behind us? 
Oh shit! Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... You're safe now. Y yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. She hit that one too many Benadryl meme. Mitsuru, can you hear me? No good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. She saw the hat man, she'll never be the You've same. avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat focused to begin with. Fuka evasion build? Yo. Persona? Hang on to this. Here. I'm gonna need you to shoot yourself. Huh? Wait. Is this... Is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. Oh, they must be pretty high up. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? It was full. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. April 10th? And the assault in the dorm was oh. on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, Eagle, shut those arms. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone! Hey, yo. Damn it! What the hell's going on? I'm totally lost here! It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've got to hurry. Hey, wait for me. What? Oh, luckily we had a teleporter. There's two of them. Mitsuru, Takeba. <laughs> Son, gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it. Oh, Go send it. Be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Hey, what the? Oh damn, she walked all the way here. Uh, Uka. Wait, how does that work? Did she walk on the railway? Cause like, monorails don't work and this is an island school, isn't it? 
How'd she get here? No, what are you doing here? Moriyama-san? Hey, come back! <laughs> Plot armor. <laughs> Please. you i'm sorry she took the monorail before the dark hour but we saw her in the dark hour <laughs> Or did she just reach for the gun, like... Where'd she get the gun? Akihiko handed it over. Okay, okay. Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see. Oh, that's cool. I, I can <gasps> see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Itsuru, let her take her place. Wait, we don't have to, we don't have to trial and error our attacks anymore? We'll handle these guys. For the monster's weaknesses. Please give me some time. Oh, it's like a it's like a pity weakness finder, okay. We have not leveled up uh, Akiko at all. Do you mind? Sure. What to do? Yo, imagine ice. Ah. Ouch. Oh, that's a cool attack. It's done. I can start the analysis at any time. Please tell me when to activate it. Press the guide button. Full analysis. It'll deplete your SP. Carrying out full analysis to reveal the enemy's weakness. Use in battle more effectively. Hmm. I didn't know I had this kind of power. Your ability is just what we hope for. It's even more. So she's weak to puncture. I don't know if I have anyone with a puncture. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what happens? We can't hurt it? Let's go. Am I soft locked, actually? Oh, we do! 
I decided Pokemon Violet a few weeks ago. I need a Pokemon, so it's fun. Have a good rest of your stream. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate seeing you. Oh, hell yeah! Okay! So we're not... We're not screwed. But we're kind of screwed. Okay, ice and blunt. We can handle that. I'm good to go. It's all you. One step at a time. All right, beat his ass. I've been waiting for this. Stronger than me doing an all out. So uh, uh, come, oh, that was almost dangerous. It's all you. I'm on it. The best bet. Uh, if you do an all to get back up, you can try getting another all before their turn. That's yeah, true. that's what I noticed. I don't know if we hit that. Oh, ouch. Oh, not good. For sure. Some work to do. For some. I mean, free turn. Hey, I can see the enemy's weakness now. We'll just focus down this one for the meantime. We can experiment with the other. Can't stop 
All right, we're banking on them being weak to fire, I imagine. Right. Let's fucking go! <laughs> What's the plan? I'll give them hell. Be okay, be okay, be okay. Oh, that's a double. So close. Alright, check this out. Lightning weakness. Ah. Uh, what if they're slash two? Oh? One step at a time. One? This is why we got the Magaru gems. Be okay. Oh, he's not okay. he gets targeted because it'd be really tragic to get hit with that and just die give me something like slash Be okay. All right. What to do? For so Damn, too easy. Never a problem. 
some new skill. Gonna have to try it out. Are there more of them? Okay, I kind of like Fuka's uh, ability there. That's gonna Don't be worry. handy. It's over. Fuka, you. She has no enemies. Are you okay? Yeah. She's just like Ichiban. Oh, thank goodness. Fuka! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Fuka, Fuka, I. Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to silence her. Just a thought. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. Can you just write like a note? It looks like she's some real her lesson. Some real like memento shit. It wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. That mysterious boy appeared again. His warnings don't seem to be just dreams. But I can't make any sense of it right now. I feel way too exhausted. I should get some rest as soon as I get back to the dorm. Good morning. Yamagishi and Moriyama are recovering nicely. They'll be released from the hospital in the next few days. Good to hear. Precisely. It is. We'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. Considering that power of hers, we could definitely use her help. That would mean that she could come onto the field with us now after this. Damn, it's just back to back to back to the huge. I've checked out all the new first year girls. They're all pretty cute, but the glasses girl in the student council is especially cute, don't you think? Uh. Seems like Yamagishi's still asleep. I can't help but worry about her. Oh, can we go to uh, the nurse's office? Drink some of that like hard juice? I heard those people who fainted woke up. I guess that means they didn't have apathy syndrome? See, just like I said, they were probably just sleep deprived from hanging out so late. Can't be apathy syndrome. Give me my juice! <laughs> what brings you to the nurse's office? <laughs> now, what do we have? You seem rather tired. Is it a wound? Yeah. Well then. Yeah, it's all the same. Free real estate. Okay then. He's a weirdo. What the hell is he doing here? He doesn't belong here. When I think of home economics, I think about cooking experiments and that kind of thing. You hear that some people burn their textbooks by accident by setting them too close to the stove. Okay, alright. I know I was like a hater for a bit, but like... I feel like it's kind of important that we check in on this guy, no? Like... Ooh. 
Like that's... That's dangerous. Like he asked for a date and the, the teacher said yes, like... Yep. You wanna know the secret to a happy relationship with a girl you like? Normally you just hang out, chat, get to know each other better, right? But you gotta watch what you say. If you step on a landmine, it all goes up in smoke. But when that happens, it's over. Uh, she's through. Usually. It won't be that bad, but still. If she does walk out on you, what should he do? I guess you gotta get on your hands and knees and beg for forgiveness. Even if it takes days. <laughs> Not that I'd ever have to worry about that. Nobody knows Emery better than me. By the way, you heading out, right? Ooh. Something to do? Alright, well, let me make a save here. If it turns out it's all okay, we're just gonna go do something else, you know? <laughs> Let's go to Wild Duck. There's a lot I want to talk about today. Yeah, Emiri is... Oh, that's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. Man. Man. Yo, I don't know about this one. <laughs> this is kind of... Kind of hummers. Okay. I know, right? It's like we're actually in a TV show. What? Do you actually believe anything he's saying? I mean... It'd be weird if he's lying. What would he have to gain? Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? That, that'd be just him being weird? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy too. And hey, don't what? tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. I only told you because I trust you. Man, if he's lying about this, fuck him. That's like hella gaslight. I feel like our relationship is stronger. Nah, now that you've sown that like seed of doubt, like... I don't know. Cause it's va- it's possible, but like... Man. I mean, I guess that's better than the alternative, Shoot, right? But the time. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now. Yeah, because if he's lying right now, this is so cope. This is hella copium. Like, someone unplug this man, like... I don't think Tomochika is ever going to stop talking. I ended the conversation at a good spot and went home. Oh, welcome back. Kirijo Senpai and Sonata Senpai went to the hospital to pay Yama, uh, Yamagishi san a visit. I wonder if she's alright. I bet Kirijo Senpai and Sanada Senpai are trying to convince Yamagishi san to join her team. That worries me. Yeah. Kirijo Senpai and Sanada san are both at the hospital checking up on Yamagishi. That means no Tartarus tonight. No Tartarus tonight?! <laughs> Guess we gotta find something random to do to kill time.
Wait, I just thought about something. It's kind of crazy that... That we're playing, like, Reverie and P3. Because it's kind of similar, right? Because, like, when you go into the Reverie corridor, they don't remember. And then, like, some people don't remember in Tartarus. And it's, like... Dungeon with floors. I guess the same dungeon. <laughs> like I know, uh, I know Jerry. Uh, back when I was playing Cold Steel 2, said, "Oh, the Infernal Castle is Tartarus." Maybe not. Not quite. Most of this game inspired a bunch of other games. <laughs> true, true. We're broke. But I want to eat fish. We must do what we cannot, what we do not do in life. And eat a lot of fish. Eat a lot of fish, chow down on some mangoes. Truly live in the fantasy. It's too crowded. Guess I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> nah, uh, let's do. Yeah, Wild Duck's good. Wild Duck's not good. Is there anything special about Hagakure? Just the pork ramen? A frequent customer seemed to have enough courage to order a special Hagakure bowl. It looks like it's special menu only available on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can order it if you're determined. I ordered shoyu ramen with pork. I drink every drop of the collagen rich soup. thinking, do you think Hirujo Senpai saved Yamagishi-san because it was the right thing to do? Or was it because she's a Persona user and we need her? It can be both. She's got good intentions, probably. Yeah. You're right. Well, I guess it's really up to Yamagishi-san whether or not she joins us. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. So, I think I saw him behind the voice actor that this guy is Sean Chiplock. Am I am I mistaken? Let me see, Mr. Oh no. Like I was, I wasn't tripping, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Reem. <laughs> oh, oh, funny thing. I started watching Re Zero again today, right? I did not know that Sean Chiplock was Subaru. So like, after a minute of watching, I was like, wait, wait a second. Wait just a damn second. That's Reen Schwarzer. <laughs> uh, okay, anyways. Uh, are we up to the Kamakura era yet? I guess not. Oh man. We haven't even reached the Nara era. Well, let's just power through it real quick. First, the Taika, uh, the Taika reforms. They happened in the year 645. Just remember that and we can move on. What? What were they about? Oh, nothing major, really. Later on in 710, there was the, the Heijo Kyo. Okay, that wraps up the Nara era. He is an instructor in multiple universes. What? You actually want more? Okay, here's a question for you then. 
What's the name of the anthology consisting of 45,000 po uh, 4,500 poems, give or take, leading up to the Nara era? You know what? I don't feel like picking it on anyone today. I'll just tell you. It's the Manyoshu. We're supposed to cover the Kokenwakshu, too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Okoda if you want. Uh, I don't care about any of this. I just want to get to the Sengoku era. I can hear it calling for me. I force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Yeah, Rin is in every game and show. Okay, we got the elderly couple. We've completely neglected uh, Yuko and uh, Odagiri. But I need to see the grandparents. My adopt... I've been adopted. Persona 3 MC, get adopted. Ah, oh, don't you worry. She's she's crying because she's happy. Oh, are they gonna keep the tree? She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. <gasps> oh! They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. Let's go! They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. That's great. It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. He must have been a good teacher. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? Uh... I mean, it wasn't me. Ah, uh, don't pretend. It's just us. You don't have to be so modest. You're a samurai. A modern day samurai. The two seem to think I'm uh, the one responsible for the petition. They're showing considerable gratitude. I feel like we're growing closer. Aw, oh, man. And before you know it, hey. you'll graduate step boldly into adulthood. Don't forget about us, you hear? Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. That'd be awesome. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. <gasps> See hello, Mist! Let's go! I got one from Mikari earlier. See you again soon. Talk about I parted with their elderly couple and went back to the dorm. Welcome back! Hirojo Senpai and sonata -san are both visiting Yamagishi today too, so that leaves us on standby at the dorm. I wonder if she'll come home soon. Fuka-chan. Hey, listen! She hasn't agreed to join though, right? I hope she's not being pressured by them or anything. Kirijo Senpai and Sanada Sanada uh, Sanada Senpai are pressuring her to join us if she doesn't want to. Sometimes it feels like they do anything to achieve our goal, you know? Hell yeah! Finally, a new addition to the dorm! Oh man, I'm so stoked! Maybe I should clean my room. Hmm. 
Brain food, brain food, brain food. You know, I haven't heard from uh, the gamer in a while. They must think I dropped the game. Because your friends keep inviting you out on Sunday. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. It's a message from Sonata. Yamagishi's being released from the hospital today. We all need to talk to her together. Come to the command room once you get back to the dorm. Hmm. That's for later. Ramen, ramen, ramen. Okay, now let, let's do, uh, Miyamoto. Hmm, hold on. Yeah, you know, tell me Chica, whatever, brother. All right then. <laughs> we gotta see the end of the the Uma Musume. Everybody, gather round. Now you've probably all heard already, but Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Yeah, I mean, this is way Sorry, better than him trying to hide him. it. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. Yeah, I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? We do not mind. Really? Well, I guess you haven't been complaining. I mean, I've always known you were tough. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. It must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. I mean, there are... There are ways to, like... Like... Get around. This all hit me on our walk over here, with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will ya? I'm not gonna hide anything from you. So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. Miyamoto really cares a lot about me. I feel like we're becoming closer. We're almost there! I feel guilty for making the whole team worry. First, I have to win at the regionals, no matter what. For their sake, too. He's gonna win the regionals? His nephew is gonna be in the stands? It's gonna be season two. <laughs> Miyamoto and I finished eating and walk um, we walked home together. So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. 
I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job on covering the truth. Ah, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Where was Akutsuki when he couldn't get us into the school? Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. You are strong. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you... Asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho Senpai. We won't force you to. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sonata Senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it. Do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Oh, man. Oh, it's got to be rough at home, huh? Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. <sighs> Figured out the pattern for when special shadows appear. Is this what the mysterious boy was trying to tell me? I should start paying attention to the moon's phases. Yo, what's the moon's face tonight? The current moon phase of today. Is a waxing crescent. So it looks like on April 23rd, we're going to get a full moon. Is the 23rd a Persona day? That's Tuesday. Oh, if you haven't done your taxes, good luck. Tax day is tomorrow. April 15th. That's the deadline. Uh, let me see. Eh. That is our, our designated yeast day. Anyways. Hmm. Dude, she's the exact opposite of Yukutan. Smart, kind, modest. Hey, Gaga. What do you think of her? That's all you think about? <laughs> you need to lighten up. 
Hip-hop to Arada Tune You'll be wasting your youth Gary Joe Kunin's a Nara Kun left for a walk uh, Left to walk Yamagishi Kun home It's late after all So today was a great day for us all We gain a new power and learn more about shadows We're entering the next phase of our battle We can't just sit on our hands either I'd say we could use a new trick up our sleeve <sighs> I know she's technically made the decision on her own but I didn't s It didn't seem like Yamagishi-san was really giving uh, given much of a choice to me I don't like this. Hmm. Tomato day? Tomatoes drop in three days? A lot of people are doing study in the room. Why would you want to do that when you could go to Wakatsu? I mean, I'm getting there, huh? Morning. Morning. Hey, Mankun. What do you think of Yamagishi-san? She's very helpful. That's all you have to say? I mean, yeah, her persona ability is pretty amazing, but doesn't it seem like she wasn't really given a choice in joining the team? I hope she'll be okay. Hey, did you hear? Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Mr. Akoda? Was that the one who didn't report? Or is Akoda the nurse? Uh, um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet! She can hear you! Oh, Buka, you're here. Yeah, the guy who didn't report. Mm -hmm. I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. She's changing? Hey! Dakota was Fuka's uh, homeroom teacher, right? I saw him just now and man, he looked like his world was gonna end. Is this what Kirijo Senpai meant? She did tell him this won't be the last you hear of this. It must suck to be a bully. You have to pretend to be nice so no one gets suspicious. And if someone finds out, you'd have to be even nicer to them. <sighs> I'm glad there won't be a full moon for a while, but still, I can't help thinking about it. Heading to practice? Let's head to practice today, man. Oh, we could finish it! We could hit 10! Mm. Okay, but before I do that... Uh, I should buy some seeds. And make some money. Who the fuck? Oh, he gobbled those blizzies. Like 
by the way. Those girls from your school who had apathy syndrome seem to have regained their senses. I'm guessing you had a hand in that too. Now then, is there anything you need? What do you got? That's the guy Kenji told me about, yeah. Oh, sure now. Alright. I'll take that. I'm at your hand. Alright. I'm at your hand. Sure. It's a deal. I'm at sure. Alright. He's take also that. the worst social link. Alright. I'll take I'm at your hand. Alright. I'm at your hand. Alright. I'll take that. You're sure. It's a deal. All done here. Be seeing ya. We'll avoid his ass. I'm getting hungry. Should we stop somewhere and grab a bite to eat? Let's get some octopia takiyaki. That's a thing with Toad I strip mall, so we'll have to take the monorail. Another victim of those mysterious incidents was found at Gekkon High. Since the victims was uh, the victim was at the front gate, that must be the scene of the crime. If the, victim, blah, 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 blah. if the victim had been attacked from somewhere else, they'd have been carried to the front gate. But why would the culprit do such a thing? The reasoning doesn't add up. Anyways, there's a high probability that Gekkon itself is involved in all this somehow. Times have changed, but some things, like schools, have been ghost stories never do. I used to sneak into the school grounds at night, and the teachers would have given me holy hell for it. Oh. Oh, we're back. Hey, what's up? We came back. Why would some gecko candy ass come here? Students should stay at home or do their homework or whatever. I heard some shit went down here. Our guys against the gecko, uh, the gecko morons. That wasn't you, was it? Nah, you don't look like you could piss those guys off that bad. Welcome, Buff potatoes enhances battle abilities. Oh wait, I didn't see that. I sometimes see the girl sitting right over there drawing. She has red uh, red hair and white frilled dress. She stands out like a sore thumb. But just writing her off as some kind of weirdo doesn't sit right. I feel like I'm in a scene from a movie whenever she's there. I kind of like it. Wait, what girl in the white dress? I heard about the disaster from someone I know who works at Gekkon High. Or, oh yeah? I think it's awful the way the students are falling victim to Aft Syndrome. It's probably because of all the excess studying. Why would they study so hard? I hope they don't have delusions of going into a famous university and getting a high paying job. Oof! He's really overthinking this. He looks suave but he worries of uh, what other people think too much. I mean I love that he cares about my opinion but... I think I'd prefer it if he didn't feel so nervous with me. Gotta find something to talk about, but what? If you go down the side street, you'll come to a spot where gangs gather. They always leave garbage behind and spray graffiti all over the walls. Every time, I'm the one who has to clean it up. I'm gonna catch those gangs someday and make them clean it up themselves. Ba -ba -na -ba -ba. Outdoor Terrace Cafe in the front of the station. Huh. Alright. It's time to wrap this arc up. And the practice. I'm assuming that ten is the end. Just kidding. Let's save that for the track, yeah? How are you holding up, Kaz? My knee's not so good. Can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. I'm missing practice because of me. Don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? 
Everyone's here to help. I'm really <laughs> sorry. I started on my way back to the dorm after practice. Hey! Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Let's hear it. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing. Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. <clears throat> the sense of broiled fish fills the air inside the restaurant. Uh, where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. Oh? Oh. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. <gasps> I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. Let's go! What about the big meat? I don't think there's enough time for me to recover by then. But that's okay. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. I'm going to focus on winning back my health instead. W. You got this. <laughs> well, I can't exactly force myself to heal, you know? Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too. We waiting for him to say, I'll kick your butt too, man. Miyamoto shared how much he cares about me. I feel like we're becoming closer. The chariot social link reached its maximum level. You can now fuse Thor, the mighty god of thunder. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. Chris Hemsworth? I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. See, I said that. You know, that that's good. He's going to they can they can be rehab buddies. I passed the time chatting with Miyamoto. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Oh yeah, I heard Fuka's moving into one of the rooms on the third floor. The girls put their foot down when I offered to help. That us guys aren't allowed. Oh. Keep double tip, uh, double clicking. Anyways, looks like she'll be coming here pretty early tomorrow. Exciting stuff, huh? Hey. The girls said no guys allowed, but what if they need more help carrying the heavier stuff? I guess they could call us if they really need the help. Mm -hmm. 
What is it? If you're looking for Mitsuru and Takaba, they're on the third floor. It sounds like they're getting Yamagishi's room ready, so I doubt we'd be of much use. Unless, like, they find a cockroach or something. <laughs> He's so good! They said no guys, but what about me? <sighs> the room must be covered in dust since no one used it before. Please don't let there be any cockroaches. I'm sorry. I apologize for not being able to go into Tartarus multiple days in a row. Preparing for Yama uh, Yamagishi's move has taken longer than I expected. Never mind that. In any case, this floor is reserved for the girls' rooms. Nails are not permitted. Please return downstairs. You know what time it is. Fish time, baby. Well, actually, maybe we should take a look at what's going on in the rest of the city for a second. It's been a minute since we did like a vibe check. I had mama tell my fortune and it's true what they say. Her fortunes aren't like the others. Everything that came out of her mouth was so abstract. She never said anything like, be careful of this, or this will bring good fortune. Hmm. Her fortunes are abstract, but she's trying- she's not trying to confuse you. You're meant to interpret them and decide how to act from there. Oh. Oh, we're getting close to some new stores opening, huh? Marvelous. I'm looking Here are my requests. Any new requests? Very well. Alright, we've scoped the vibes. Oh wait. Station. Usually cabbies work night shifts. If I don't sleep during the day, when am I supposed to sleep? My wife gets steamed, saying we never talk anymore. She's got no idea what I'm going through. Damn. Nothing comes between us. Dancing like ballerinas under the moonlight all night long. We're gonna be so smart. Oh shit, wait, are, are we throwing down again? You've prevailed yet again. Wait, why does it say limit 25? You remember what I said before? About everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. 
it doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers change quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? You can knock first. <laughs> What's your name? Name? Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is... Pharaohs. I know we'll get along great. I can feel the beginning of my bond with this serious boy, Pharaohs. Hmm. Death? I am thou. thou Death? Art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Death Archive. Well, it's getting late. So, I'm going now. Yeah, this kid absolutely is like not alive. Mega dead. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. We're being haunted. Either by our past sins or like... Low bro. <laughs> bye bye. Morning, man. Yamagishi will be living in the dorms with us starting today. And from this point on, she'll be providing us with support and Tartarus at night. That means I can start joining battles again. Nice. Yes. You can depend on me. Even if I'm a bit slow starting out, rest assured that I'll catch up to you all in no time. You're all here. I know this is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. More puns. <laughs> oh, let's go! More puns! Does that mean we can expect something good? Uh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. This is Ikutsuki san we're talking about. Okay, no. I'm, I'm gonna let it cook. I can't think of any puns right now. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. Who wants to kick it? The kid? When you send a mail like this, it reminds me of times I used to write love letters to Mitsuko-chan. Come visit us when we have time. <laughs> Wait, I love that. Are we playing today? Ah! But the kid though! Requests? Oh, new requests. Read is such a terrible sin. Alas, I cannot help but want, uh, want, and now the number of requests I have for you is increased. I would be incredibly pleased should you spare time to fulfill them. Hey, Elizabeth. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? <gasps> so many new ones. I'd like to be gifted a bouquet of flowers. I have that. Here's some oh flowers. My. You've already. Is this the bouquet of roses I asked for? My thanks. They're truly gorgeous. Thank you for this lovely gift. Truly, I've heard that in the language of flowers, the meaning of a bouquet depends on how many stalks there are. <laughs> so this bouquet means. <laughs> I'll look more into that matter later. Please take this as your reward. 
New outfit just dropped. I want to look fashionable. Oh, yes. I hear that all humans are greatly fixated on their appearance. Therefore, I'd like to try my hand at dressing up as well. If you don't mind terribly, could you please bring me a fashion item that would suit me? I believe you could find something in a place where people often gather to mingle. I'll be looking forward By to it. All means. A triangular sword. <laughs> For this request, I'll be changing it up and issuing it as a little quiz. Please bring me a triangular sword. This hint... Uh, your hint? It was originally used for dueling. If you need help figuring it out, perhaps you ought to try asking one of your close friends. Sometimes it's most wise to ask others for assistance. By all means. And Om uh, Onimaru Kunitsuna? I will await a report of success. Create a persona that's level 23 and above. A report of success. Conduct 20 personas. By Retrieve the means. old document. Oh, Potent yes. medicine. I hear there exists a research lab called the nurse's office within the learning facility you attend. Experiments ranging from the scientific to the supernatural are conducted there all day and night for the sake of humanity's health. Apparently, aside from the uh, ordinary medicine, potential lethal ones are also created there. That said, I would like for you to negotiate with the master of the nurse's office and bring me that potent medicine. By all means. Wait, Jack Frost dolls? Don't, aren't those just in the low uh, crane game? Come to think of it. I hear there are Jack Frost dolls in your world. I would like one. No, correction. Three of those dolls, please. One for me to love, one for me to display, and one to promote his adorableness. I will await a report of success. Need anything else? Nope. Very well. I win this. Oh, easy. Alright, I'll, I'll absolutely handle losing two poles. That's another two poles, easy. We're so good! Alright, I'll take the four. Crazy they added that option. Oh, was that not in before? You had to do it one at a time? That would have been so miserable. Good day. I'm looking. Oh wait, I oh fuck. Wait, that was new dialogue. As you complete more requests, Elizabeth will start asking you to escort her to different places from time to time. You can accompany her on many of these outings time uh, outings anytime during daylight hours. Going out with Elizabeth will take no time at all, so you don't need to worry about planning your day around her. Wait, let me read Very it. Well. There's something I must inform you. Uh, whenever you complete one of my many requests, I become ever more curious about the world. And now an urge to investigate this place for myself has arisen within me. Therefore, I would like to request that you escort me to various locations. First, I would like, to, uh, like you to guide me through the Polonia Mall here. If you have the time, then please come fetch me, so long as the sun's out. Good day. Ask Elizabeth out! I know it was a problem for Tomichiko, but I'm different. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Uh, it seems you completed a request. Uh, that physical manifestation of the Jack Frost. Yes, no doubt, that's the Jack Frost doll. I'm greatly fond of Jack Frost. May I touch it? Marvelous. So soft. To be honest, I was conflicted over what sort of Jack Frost request to make. I also considered asking to nurture him until he reaches level 99, but... I'm glad I chose to make this request in the end, since I gotten such a cute doll out of it. I'm looking forward to that it. That said, I would still love to see Jack Frost at his strongest one day. Please take this as your reward. I'd like to walk around Polonium Mall. Go out with me! I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? Oh she is like out here. An encounter with one of your world's exquisite treasures. Right out of the bloom. She's out here looking like she came out of a cosplay convention. So this is the fountain. It makes sport of water, a precious resource, and the very foundation of life. Such a sinful form of art. 
I've heard of its mystical powers, wherein those who offer coin may have their wishes granted. Is there a right and wrong answer here? Hold up. Okay, probably not. Everything I found when I searched it on Google is how do I date Elizabeth? How do I go out with Elizabeth? Uh, so I think we're fine. Maybe so. Then I must try my hand at this. Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a hefty sum of coins. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins to be exact. Oh. <laughs> I shall make an opening bid of one million yen. She bought a fucking Millennium Tower up in here. Oh! I was so caught up in the excitement that I started tossing coins without giving my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. Hmm? What is this facility here? That's the cops. I see there's a gentleman inside with quite the stern face. And these photographs displayed so prominently. Most wanted. Reward? Hmm. Would it be correct to presume that these are your version of my subjugation requests? Uh, you don't kill him, though. I see. So the target must be captured alive. I shall keep that in mind. Yo, I think it's a good thing we said that. If she's gonna keep it in mind, I think it's a good thing we said that. <laughs> Over here, is this what you call a club? Dancers dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden flourishing with uninhibited desires. We should be at the club. <gasps> oh no! It's closed right now? Oh, what a pity! I had hoped to become part of the scene. Go off. <laughs> Go off, bestie. <sighs> well, that was quite satisfying. But I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you don't mind, could you perhaps recommend our next activity? <gasps> Karaoke! Karaoke! It appears the time has come to demonstrate my hidden talents. One may even challenge professional singers at the touch of a button at this karaoke. Uh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? I hadn't noticed there was a fountain on this side as well. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yet another fountain. On the opposite side. I see. So this place plays host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Now then, I shall perform a song of exultation for my master. Sing along if you will. La, la, la. Oh my. You've never heard this song before? Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission a complete success. This may sound forward, but I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime. Anytime. I return to the velvet room with Elizabeth.
Yo, give me, let me get that money though. Not you. Status of my links, right? So the girl is at seven. So is the old man. After that, Tomochika. You know, maybe we don't get too many opportunities with the kid, right? We'll just like kill the filler. time we can what do you want to do I can feel my bond grow stronger a little filler day Yamagishi-san are you in there yes come in oh she's very into flowers I think we should start heading to the command room and huh you already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. You know, something I've heard, which is like an insane concept to me, as like someone who grew up with computers, Apparently, like, a lot of kids these days don't really know how to use computers. Like, I don't know how much truth there is to that, but, like, I could I could believe it. Because, like, I feel like a lot of kids grow up with, like, iPads and stuff and, like, phones where that, that uh, kind of fulfilled the same need that, like, computers did. Boomer brain, boomer brain. Um, <laughs> so, like... Kids now, like... Uh, I even like kids like I, I'm saying kids li like kind of lightly too like um I even have some like younger friends who uh like if Will's here I, I think he got into I I'm flaming him I guess um he got into computers pretty late he didn't really have to use them too often I think so he he learned about them more recently you know and it's like huh that's like an insane concept to me to like as to like not have like compute like like I'm not <laughs> like I wouldn't say like computer literacy but like kind of parents normally buy laptops instead for children's if they need it yeah mm hmm are you looking into something yes I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle I can't do any actual fighting so I need to make myself useful. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now I that you. I think about mm -hmm. it, everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Now, pretty much exactly the same here. Like, honestly, I think I was on a computer by the time I was, like, six, which is, like, kind of wild. Although I wasn't really doing much on it. I was playing, like, StarCraft and stuff. But still, uh, a dev at a game convention was talking about how kids didn't understand their setup because there was no touchscreen and didn't know what a keyboard or controller was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. 
And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo Senpai is strong too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. <laughs> Damn. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. No, she's cracked. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> Oof. That's not true at all. That imposter syndrome hit. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. Huh. Uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on. I think Akutsuki sounds gonna be here soon. That's interesting to think about. That like the skills of the persona reflect the feelings of its user. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you, Yukari chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. It's explosives. Wow. I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. We can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone hmm. to use these during your operations. We get fits? Combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And... All right, where's the joke? Your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of Theurgy. Theurgy? Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions, and when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Is that our LB? Is that our, our is that our S breaks? Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that. It's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. For sure. Isn't it dangerous to use something like this without knowing how it works? Nah, it's fine. Oh, don't worry about that. It's been well tested and determined completely safe. Who tested it? Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seas is going to have a new lineup after. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay, I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. There he goes. And not a single joke. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like careless. It's fine. We should just give it a go like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. 
I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? How's that sound, man? <laughs> oh, I read that it sounds like a plan. I almost hit that. I'm looking forward. Man, this trump card stuff is getting me so pumped up. I'm gonna be all like, take this, super ace dude pay attack. Or something like that. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right, we'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. <laughs> Oh. God damn, wait a second. Yo, we looking kind of fresh. <laughs> wait, Fuka's fits nice. I love that jacket. <laughs> Dude, we're so cool. Yo, if, if I was playing this on Steam, the screenshots would be popping off. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome! We're like a super elite task force! Come on, could you at least wear it like you're supposed to? Oh, but it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. They were testing the prototype out on me, but it feels even better than it did before. It's hmm. very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Doesn't Xbox camera also have screenshots? I'm sure it does, but then I have to learn what that is. I haven't had a chance yet. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm. What else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? How do you use it? Well, how would... Nobody's Sorry. used it yet, right? It doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. Yo, imagine, like... The way you hit your LB, is you just mag dump into your head? <laughs> All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going to. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! Wait, but we can't have all of us out here, right? All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Too? I was so ready for this. You can't just put me on standby. We can't go without our leader. We can't go without man. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Oh, gotta keep our ace in reserve? Oh, really? When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay, got it. Oh, huh? you get it? <laughs> Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. Seems different. 
different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. Hmm. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. You have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. So... Damn, that would suck if you bought new weapons before this, huh? He barely explained anything, though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. Sheesh! It's a little bit better. It's just like flat damage though. That's a lot better. We look so cool. Doesn't have the proc from the toy bow though, yeah. Yeah, how much is the point difference again? Maybe it's better for me to just keep the toy bow on. Oh, one point? Fuck that. Um. I'll be here to provide backup from now on. When I'm geared up just like everyone else, it really gets me psyched up. Yes. You ready? Yeah, let's go! I'll try to guide you to a more stable floor. I can't go with you, but I'll do my best to back you up from here. Looks like we're here. Yamagishi, do you copy? Yes, I'm here! Are you picking up any shadows? Um, it looks like there's one close by. Be careful! Alright, let's head over there and feel things out. <laughs> oh, fixed. Oh, it almost looked like a fixed camera angle for a second. Did you keep up after all this time? Believe me, I have no intention of falling behind. You're approaching a shadow. Get ready for battle. Roger that. I'm always ready. Leader, are you ready? Then let's go. Yeah, we gotta do the all out or the, the ambush though. We've got the upper hand. We'll do the trick. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Hmm. Shall I move to strike? What are these guys called? Sky balance? Yes. I'm far more in my element. Let me show you that I haven't lost my touch. No way, that's so peak, that timing! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Wait, that's so peak! Holy shit! Imagine if you watch it every time, though. Yeah, but I mean, like... The price of peak. The price of Kino. Looks like, like that had. Well. 
That had to be scripted. Like, there's no way. Fuka, you were amazing. Great job. Thank you, Yukari-chan. I mean, it wasn't. Because the song could have just kept going if I didn't do anything. Ambush isn't a guarantee there. That was just... This game's so good. <laughs> still seeing some enemies nearby. Keep an eye out if you decide to engage them. Oh, we're engaging them, all right. Do you see any shadows? They should be just ahead. Do the trick. So we learned that they're weak to uh, ice. Too good. <laughs> this I can fight even better. By the way. Well the combat uniform seems to be working out, but what about that Thurgy thing? Yamagishi, have you figured anything out on your end? Um. I'm sorry, it's still unclear. I'm picking something up during battle though. I see. There's no pressure. Just continue your observation. One shadow left. You can do it. Let's do this. Don't hold back. Later. There's still shadows on this floor. Please defeat them before moving on. We were just looking. We see them. Let's take these guys down. Time to finish this. Oh, there we go. We've still had it. I'll start preparing the, the analysis. Persona. The enemy's head will do the trick. Persona! Two more! One enemy eliminated! It's just so peak. Oh, yeah. One step at a time. Oh, youch! Did their clothes change in the accent scenes? I think so. Wait a second. I didn't know they had this. <laughs> Shall I move to strike? Good 
never detect any shadows. All the ones on this floor have been defeated. It's all coming back to me. It would be wise for me to keep battling. Let's keep going then. Um... You've already found the stairs, right? Should we head there now? Let's go. Hang on. I'm sensing something on the floor above us. Something strange. Is it some kind of powerful shadow? No, it's... It feels similar to the distortion I felt earlier. Roger. Let's move carefully and assess the situation when we get upstairs. I think you missed out on extra all out attacks by skipping the first one. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah, because I could keep locking him out. Good call, good call. on this floor so they separated us by force there's danger lurking in this darkness we need to regroup as soon as possible Yamagishi can you guide us hmm I wonder if this is just gonna be a thing that happens now like we'll go to a floor and then it'll just separate us we have to oh, run into each other now Fuka where should I go if I want to <gasps> you carry chan look out Huh? Oh. Oh, wait. It yeah. cut. It cut like that. That's crazy. Leader, you're here. Oh. Oh. Everyone is always protecting me. I'm getting hurt because of it. Oh, she about to hit that author G or whatever. The orth. What am I even doing? Yukari chan. Fuka, I need you to back me up. I'll hold this thing off until everyone else gets here. Yo, I don't even need to play. Wait, is this? You can't load the cartridge into your evoker. I know. Now's the time. Third G activate. When emotions run high in battle, you or your party members will be able to activate their third G. Third G can be activated on your turn. Wow, when your third G is maxed. Uh, can you? Unlike normal skills, they don't cost HP or SP. Uh, press RT to activate your third G. Please note it cannot be used while you're afflicted with the status ailment. Wait, this looks so cool! Deal severe wind damage to one foe, ignores resistance. After healing someone, her desire to prevent death strengthens. Wait, she's cracked. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Never mind where Yukari stands. <laughs> Thanks, but you shouldn't be so reckless. Talk about later. She hit that bard move. Oh yeah, you're right. Looks like you both are okay. Sorry, I worried everyone. Nah, Gagaman got his ass whipped for a second. It's all right. You did well in handling an unexpected situation. <sighs> Maybe we should consider starting over. Let's head back to the entrance for now. Good work out there, team! I'm sorry. I should have been able to navigate better. You did great. Good shit. I agree. 
I'm convinced that you're the one we need on support. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fuka. I didn't do anything. It was all you, Yukari-chan. That special attack sure was cool, though, Yukatan. How'd you do it? How? I just focused really hard and thought to myself, I have to do whatever it takes. And while I was thinking that, I kind of felt something surging inside me. The chairman did say the cartridge would synchronize with our emotions. Hmm. So it's like conditional LBs. Kind of cool. Right. Although, I'm still not entirely sure how it works. From what I could tell, it reacted to Yukari-chan's strong emotions. So this weapon gives the user strength beyond their limits when their emotions are heightened? Some might even call it a limit break. Uh, I don't really get it. But basically, if we're fired up enough, we can really pop off, right? And thanks to you, Yukari-chan, we have a good idea of how it works. From now on, I should be able to tell when someone can use theirs. That was new? Hmm. All well, thanks to Yukari. We're glazing. Much. We're glazing. I just got lucky. I don't know much more than anyone else. I'll do more research into how the sinking with emotions works later. Everyone has different feelings when they're fighting. So the timing on when they can use these will probably be different too. I'd like to give it a go myself, but we should call it a day for now. We can't overwork our leader, and we've got some time until the next full moon. I'm a little worried about the change with the floors, though. What if something like that happens again? Third G attacks for party members is reload only? Hmm. Yes. If something has changed in the tower, we'll need to be extra careful when exploring from now on. So they don't have anything like that, like in uh, P5? In any case, we may have had some problems, but we learned a lot today. Not only did we get to test our new lineup and equipment, but we also got to see that we're all improving at a remarkable pace. Aw, Kirijo senpai Quit buttering me up. Just leave everything to Junpei Iori, the soon-to-be MVP. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to say this, but you literally didn't do anything today. Man! <laughs> All allies can now use Thergy. We have to feed into his delusions. Hello, it's this important. Is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. P5 wrote something similar, but it was between two party members. I should check it out next time I go to Tartarus, okay. Yeah, I just sat back down in bed and got another call for sure. Toma Chica. Since you got the day off, hit me up if you want to go somewhere. Can I... Can I choose to do this later? <laughs> Groaning every time I see Tomachika. <laughs> It's been a while since I've I've seen like a <laughs> like a normal day here. I'm gonna log on now. You know what? Maya is very real for this. Like I haven't interacted with Maya for like two months, and they're still messaging me like, "Hey, Oomph, get on." We're too popular, yeah. Oh wait! The fridge downstairs! It got cleared right now! It's the 14! <laughs> you smoke too hot. What? What's the, the whole thing? 
They'll kill you. Your swag too, too. Something you smoke too hard. They'll kill you. <laughs> oh, that's not my room. Well, I think that's probably a good spot to stop for now. We can start the uh, next stream with this daytime. Not gonna let itself run. Uh, not gonna let it run too late. I mean, shit, we're already pretty close to five hours. <laughs> I think if I get off now, my sleep schedule won't be ruined for the week. Anyways, that being said, thank you for stopping by. Always appreciate the company. Ghosting Kenji for a week. <laughs> oh, honestly? I mean, we ghosted him for way longer before this. All good. Like, like he's got his, he's got his new teacher girlfriend, you know? Like, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, peace, peace.